hot comic book movie news Shooting up your butthole The Weekly Planet, The Weekly Planet Welcome back everybody to another episode of The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows my name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday, and with me as always, my co-host Nick Mason. It's great to be here, James. You're killing it. You're killing it on the introductions. I think so. Yeah. How was that in terms of all the other ones I've done? I don't know. No. You nice. Like, uh, don't nice. Know. You yeah. said nice. Yeah, it's, it was nice. Thanks, man. I mean, you said killing it initially, but yeah. I'll take nice. That's. I great. wasn't prepared for any follow-up questions. <laughs> I was hoping I would say you're killing it on the introductions, and we would move on. And then we do the podcast. Mm, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, before we do the podcast, though, Mason, it's very important that people know. Well, first of all, thank you for those who have voted for us in the Australian Podcasting Awards. The plan is to hopefully win or get close and then not show up. Sure, absolutely. Uh, it's in Sydney, so there's even less of a chance oh, we're going to be there. Because the last time when we won, it was in Melbourne. And Claire went. Claire went. That's and true. now Claire's like, I'm not going to Sydney. Huh. So the plan is, I don't think even if we won, which is I think is way less likely than last time, mm. they wouldn't give it to us anyway. Because that's democracy nowadays, Mason, that's you know what I mean? very true. What votes even count, et cetera? Why bother? That's you right. Know? It's all yeah. gerrymandering as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Agreed. We both understand what that means we, in relation to this. We absolutely do. We, it's it's bad for us as far as I can tell. Uh, so, yeah, that's linked below. If you Curse do, you, Jerry. <laughs> that's linked below if you do want to uh, support us, uh, yeah, win this thing and then not participate. I mean, participate. you can choose not to support us, but it is. Yeah. It's, it's free to do. You can yeah. do it. I mean, it's the easiest thing in the world. Absolutely. Do, you know? Absolutely it is. It's just click a link and then presumably fill in a lot of – no, it's like a little – you've got to type in our podcast specifically and then nice. I think you've got to confirm an email. But they don't send you stuff apparently. I voted. Is that, am I allowed to? <laughs> I think so. James, you have undermined this entire thing with your gerrymandering, <laughs> which you've just done there. It's the one thing you're not allowed to do in the Australian Podcasting Awards and that's vote for yourself. Okay. If you've what, ruined this and if, you've, 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 you've announced it publicly. We're doomed. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. Well, it doesn't matter. The then. only way to fix it is if everybody well, votes. Well, I was going to say, yeah. If we get a million trillion votes. And I can't and get it, in trouble if, if I'm not there. What are they going to do, arrest me? True, I'm not yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. You can't be convicted of the same crime twice, <laughs> of rigging the Australian Podcasting, Podcasting Awards. Exactly. Anyways, these are the topics of the week, Mason. Topics of the week. Well, that's right. The, the week bar. bar. Yeah, not a good ice cream bar. Don't like it. You a fan? No. Not good. No. Not good at all. I don't like anything that's like ice cream, but then it's got like a... Like a frosty coat, like a fruit coating. Well, it's like two separate, I don't like I that believe, either. sections. No. And no stick. Mm. What are they doing? Yeah, right. But yeah, these are time codes for all of this. If you do want to skip ahead, for example, you might want to skip ahead to our Black Panther Wakanda Forever. You might want to review. skip. You might want to skip by any references to local ice creams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like definitely. the Weiss Bar, but you can't because we're going to just That's constantly be, insert it yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be a recurring gag, I think. Yeah, it's just going to build and get funnier. <laughs> uh, we'll start off, of course, with. I'm going to Google uh, Weiss Bars and find all the flavors and then just drop them. <laughs> Over the I think course, this is one. Is it? I don't know. And we'll find out. We'll find out, won't we? Anyway, if not, I'm going. For, I'm going to Calippos. <laughs> Fine, which yeah. are also okay, aren't they? They're better. Great. They're much better. Anyways, we're going to start with the death of an absolute legend in oh. Kevin Conroy. Uh, some Star Wars news, including what a section I've called uh, "One In, One Out." Okay, There's a sure. director in and a director out. Oh, that's terrific, actually. Rumors of an Indiana Jones series. Uh, Netflix are doing Gears of War. There's a new Godzilla and. Kong movie and what that's called and about or whatever. Mm -hmm. Trailers Ahoy for John Wick 4. Tom Holland back as Spider-Man. James Gunn on his version, this DCU, what's going to be happening. Black Adam is not doing well, it seems, um, with uh, box office anymore due to various reasons. And then, as mentioned, Black Panther. But let's start things off with just a bone-crushingly sad bit of news, Mason. If, if this year couldn't get any worse. My God. Do you think 20 – remember, you know, you know, the last couple of years, every time it's New Year's, people are like, good riddance 2020, yeah. here comes 2021, it's going to be better. Yeah. Has it been? God damn. I would like to be the one guy for whom it has been better every year consistently. <laughs> sure, yeah. I'm killing this. This yeah, is great. Absolutely. I mean, statistically, there would be that person, right? Right. Let's find him and beat him up. I agree. So Kevin Conroy, as most people would know, especially if you're listening to this, um, one of his most prominent roles is, or the most prominent role, I would say, is was the voice of the Batman, which he started in 1992 with the animated series, which he he's done pretty much all the way up to the modern day. Like he'd weave in and out of different projects. That mm-hmm. original Batman would come back in various iterations, but he's also done, of course, multiple video games, and not mm-hmm. just the Arkham series like ones before that. He's been Batman in live action. 
Uh, That's true. On Dur- that girl. Yeah, on the, in the CW's Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover, yeah. Yeah. And the other thing about uh, his, his Batman is that he's incredible. You <laughs> agree. Probably yeah. the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously that's, you know, that's that's very subjective and et cetera. But, I mean, I know he was like the voice of Batman for us growing up. Mm. But just just beyond that and that, that shift between Bruce Wayne and Batman and just what he what he could, what he got out of that role was just incredible. And the fact that he he took it so seriously as well, like he deeply cared about yeah. this character. Yeah. yeah. Um the, I mean the, the, I have the or, some of the origin story here that he he went to Juilliard Acting Academy yeah. and he learned that a lot of theater actors did voiceover to supplement their income. Mm. He'd never done it and his agent called him and said Warner Brothers is looking for voices for a new show and they're looking for like theater actors and film actors because it's like dramatic stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and he came in and they were like, he, all he knew really about Batman was he'd seen the 60s show. Sure, yeah. Adam West and he's like, like that? And they're like, no, 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 no. We, 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 want, we want. Yeah, he wasn't a fan at all. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. they're like, he's avenging his parents' death. He's got the dual identities. Yep. And uh, Kevin Corrin was like, oh, like, like, like Hamlet. Yeah. Like he's a, this avenging character and then he just could have sort of. And uh, he also like him, you know, being an actor or being also around in that era. It's, it wasn't like super publicly known, but he he was gay, and he also like, he identified with having those dual like personalities. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Which yeah, I yeah. thought was just fascinating. Yeah, it just adds a, like a layer of depth to to all. And, of and that. here's a quote from uh, Conroy about the, the the first script that he got for uh, for mm. Batman. He's like, when I I just read the script that they sent me, it looked to me like Harvey Bullock, who's one of the the Gotham police officers was a much more interesting character and Commissioner Gordon too. So I went in and I said, can I audition for the character roles? <laughs> and one of the producers was like, you understand if you get Batman, you'll be in every episode. <laughs> so stop trying to talk us out of hiring you. So that's a that's bit of fun. Really funny. Yeah, that's a very theatre thing to do, isn't it? Yeah, I want to yeah, do the yeah. more interesting role. Right. It's like, no, you can be Batman. You can do this forever. What are you, ta- what are you talking about? Um, I also saw – like there's multiple stories on Twitter. Yeah. Like obviously Mark Hamill paid tribute because they started at the same time. Mark mm. Hamill obviously doing the Joker and that and that whole cast and just various people who he's interacted with across the years. You know, like Kevin Smith, you know, for example, was obviously a big fan and they got to know each other and even worked on Masters of the Universe more recently. Yeah. And he was in uh, Yoga Hoses. Oh, he was too. Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen that movie but I have seen that clip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I saw uh, a little story from Batman the Animated Series podcast about how – when he would interview people from the podcast, like you got like the guy who voiced Nightwing to sell like clip-on mullets and, and things mm. like that. So they do in-character ads. And he wrote this, it was something like uh, Batman like doing a dating profile and just all these silly things that like Batman was looking for. And like he liked it and he thought it was funny, but he said he didn't want to like shatter the illusion or sell out Batman for a joke. Yeah, right, And right. it wasn't like, I won't do this, I'm above it. But it yeah. was more like, I take this really seriously and I know people take it seriously and I don't yeah. want to kind of... I don't want to, you know, cheapen that. And I, it, you know, and it is, it is, it is sad, of course, when a, when a, when a, you know, someone in the public eye and a beloved actor dies. But you get a, you often get like a full picture of their life from, especially social media and stuff. Yeah. Everybody's got a story. This is from a guy called Cam Del Rosario. He was at a convention and Kevin was poking around the table. These teens were nervously whispering, I think that's Batman. So they asked him if he was and Kevin was like, no. A few minutes later, before leaving the area, he walked up to them and just said, I am vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, that's, God, that's, that's great, yeah. yeah. Also, I, I just, I'm, one of his best performances I felt was in those Arkham games mm. because also the level of... Like there's hundreds of hours in those games uh-huh. and you're Batman the entire time That's right. and he's talking the entire time mm-hmm. and there's multiple branching paths and things that he says that you'd never see. James, do you think that when you play those games you're on a direct line to the actors? Yeah, I think so, okay, yeah. Right. So it was like, oh, here I go. I'm doing a Batman. If you, could, if you could not fail this mission again, James, yeah. that would be great. I don't want to do this cutscene again. Yeah, just really terrific though. I mean those games alone, the work that he puts into yeah. those – I mean, all of it. Mm. Now, I saw on IMDb, and I don't know whether this is true because IMDb, anybody can add anything, that he was going to be Thomas Wayne in that new uh, Bruce Tim Paul Dini animated Batman series. Oh, yeah, right. It's coming out next year. I don't know whether that's – that would be great if yep. that's true. Mm. I, don't, I don't know whether that's confirmed. Like, mm. Presumably, like, they were always going to recast a Batman at this point. But, I mean, that would be great. But, mm-hmm. um, yeah, that's uh, – 
yeah, I don't think there's anything else as far as I'm aware of his in the works. There probably is that, you know, that hasn't been revealed. Yeah, it might be something, some lost media or something like that. Yeah. Deleted scenes will probably come out. But, yeah, if people wanted to check out his work, you know, you can get. There's so many great, like, interviews and, like, behind the scenes, like, clips of him and just, just literally everything that That's he's true, done. Yeah. yeah. And just, try, you know, there's you, I, it's, it's very difficult to find a bad episode of Batman the Animated Series. Yeah. There's one where it's revealed that one of, the inspirations for Batman's persona is a is like a pulp, a fictional pulp hero called yeah. the Grey Ghost, voiced by um, Adam West. Adam West, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they and the, the and Batman and the actor who played him back in the day team mm. up to solve a mystery. That's yeah. a good, that's a good episode. I don't know. I've never been sure whether actors on that show recorded in the same room. Or I think not. initially they did. I right. don't know. I I don't know what it eventually became. Yeah, it's tough to yeah. say. Like I know the Simpsons for a long time all the actors in a scene would be in the same room at the same time. And yeah. that was considered an exception yeah, okay, at the time. Yeah. Like usually it was just someone would come in on whatever day and record all their lines yeah. to no one and then leave. But I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah. I, Cause I, the behind the scenes stuff I saw, they were at the very least initially together, uh-huh. especially for like the Batman Joker mm. stuff. But uh, I don't, I don't know. Like, I'd imagine with the, like the video game stuff, you just know, you would just have to. That's true. Yes. <laughs> No, they get in the gun. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Kevin Conroy would come in with all the thugs who go, it's the bats. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like he's, he's having a conversation with the Joker or whoever. Yeah, right, right, right. Commissioner Gordon, et cetera. Yeah. Anyways, terrible loss. Terrible loss. Completely legend, out of nowhere. Of the game. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that sucks. Mm-hmm. But what a great guy, it yep. seems like, and mm-hmm. what a great body of work. Yeah. Mason, let's do some more news. Okay, let's do more uh, news. Slightly less depressing. Oh, slightly less depressing. Perfect. Yeah, Studio Ghibli. You're going to ease us out of this? Yeah, yeah I think so. Because <laughs> okay, this right. is the thing where you're like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Studio Ghibli, did you say they did a, a tease? It's pronounced Studio Giblets. Studio Giblets did a tease for a Star Wars project. Did you see that? On Featuring the, you know? Grogu. Yeah, nice. and I'm like, oh, what's this? It's mm-hmm. gonna, you know, they, they've been doing some anime stuff and various. They, mm-hmm. they dabble in other yeah. areas every now and then. Anyways, Star Wars yeah. Visions. It was a Grogu short on Disney Plus and people don't like it. I oh, it's already out. Yeah, I watched a bit of it okay. and I'm like, oh, now I get it. But uh, All right, great. Yeah, so <laughs> I put that bit of news in and then just before this I realized that it was already out and people are like, boo! Oh, no. They wanted like a full-length something. And, right. Yeah. So there you go. Okay. It's exciting, isn't it? That's very so exciting. So that's some transitional news. <laughs> something hopefully – Here's something, uh, this is that uh, one in, one out news. Okay, right. Here we now go. new segment, terrific. This is via the rap. So this is a series of uh, very unstable yep. uh, Star Wars directing news. Okay. Exactly. Great. So J.D. Dillard is no longer working on a Star Wars movie. He was the director behind Sweetheart and he's got the movie Devotion, which is out this week, I believe. Ooh. Apparently all, both very good, which I've never seen. He was doing a Star Wars project, a movie, which is now not happening. So, you know, that happens, doesn't well, that's it? That's one out. Yeah, and he was like, yeah, that, was, that sucks. But THR is saying that Sean Levy is developing a Star Wars movie. He's drew Director of Free Guy. Free Guy, uh, Star Wars references. The Atom Project, Star, <laughs> Star Wars, Wars references. references. Sure. Stranger Things, Star Wars references. Mm-hmm. The Secret World of Alex Mack, he worked on that. Probably oh, yeah, some sure. Star Wars references. Absolutely. And of the upcoming Deadpool 3. So there you go. One in, one out. Will this one happen? Mm. Well, if he's doing Deadpool 3, maybe. If he's in the door at Disney, but that doesn't That's necessarily true. mean anything, mm. does it? Yeah. And and will Deadpool 3 do well is the question. Yes. Oh, will. Okay, mm. so he's okay. So he's currently still in for a... I saw that they... Maybe the rumour was that they were looking to get the original Fantastic Four cast from the 2005 movie, that is, mm. back, which would also mean Chris Evans as Johnny Storm. And wouldn't that be funny? That would be a funny reference. And, so, and he was in Free Guy. Remember Chris Evans was like, yes. I'm, a, I'm a Chris, we have a Captain American. Yes, exactly. You remember? Right. Yes, remember I his do. reaction? I do, I do. Now, let me ask you this, James. Okay. Given that uh, there's a lot of hype surrounding the TV series Andor, yeah. which is, you know, a lot of people are saying it's Star Wars but for grown-ups. Yeah, finally. Am I uh, right, Mason? Is that going to affect uh, Sean Levy's chances of doing a Star Wars given that his movies are... More of a flight of fancy. They're a flight of fancy, <laughs> aren't they? Yes. Maybe. I mean, Is I, Andor doing well? Uh, I think it's uh, critically and, like, people love it. Mm. But I think it will continue to grow. But yeah. it's not it's not like the Mandalorian numbers. Yeah, right. But I think it would also be a mistake to pivot to make everything Andor. Sure, yeah. I love yeah. Andor. It is the best Star Wars thing in like 40 years. Right. But it's also – Star Wars – you should – there should be a breadth of stuff. 
I think so. You know? So um, I want to see more of Andor stuff, but I always also want to see what if Chris Evans had Captain America's shield and he had a lightsaber? What if what if Grogu was a little guy and he had a little adventure? You're yeah, not but, so interested in that, are you? No, I, I haven't. Oh, um, is, is, is James? Oh, what a breadth of Star Wars. Not Grogu, though. Ugh, yuck. No, but the breath means you can pick and choose things that you like, Mason. I'll kick him into space. I'll kick him into space. I'll kick, I'll kick space. that little green rat into space. <laughs> I'll do it. Yeah. I don't care. Uh, Grogu as well. Right? Dumb name. I mean, we, they, was, they were setting themselves up for failure, weren't <laughs> yeah. they? By, at, get, by attempting... not giving him an A at all. Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm. So there you go. Also, how do you... I, I, guess the, I guess he used the force, didn't he, to tell us so his name was Grogu. Yeah, they're talking to each other in their brains. Yeah. You know, yeah, I guess. You know how those things work, don't they? Yeah, right. Speaking of Andor, uh, people are going to love hearing this that I have the final two episodes as of this going out. So I'm going to be watching them La-dee-da. before, and so will you, I guess, because yeah, we'll do sure. a review of them. But I just want everybody to know that we are, we will be seeing them early. We are the media elite. That's right, yeah. <laughs> and they are paying us. That's right. So just so you know, so uh, I wasn't going to watch them. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know that one last week I didn't watch it. I, w- I waited till Wednesday, uh-huh. but I. Uh, Collings will probably do a video re- review for this and I don't want to dump it on him in the last second. So, Absolutely, yeah, sure. So that's the plan. And if anyone wants it, just email me. I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you. Oh, you send him over? Sure, it's got sure. my email address right across it. But if, if you promise well, I mean, not to show anybody, yeah. I'll, I'll send it out to everybody. Terrific. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's fine, right? But that's handy because if the email address is on them, you know, everybody will not remember that you did them a big favor. That's true, exactly. So, I mean, yeah. this quid pro quo, this will work out really well I for you. I love this, actually. Yeah. Good point. Uh, Mason, in other news, this oh, is other news. Uh, We're in the other jo- news segment. Yes, would you say there was the the story this week that Indiana Jones Five did a test screening? Oh, and, then, and people were like, "Boo, we hate this." I've, I've read, but, I read that there's there's multiple. There was multiple test screenings of multiple endings. Yeah, there was. Uh, this is for. I was going to save this for clickbait. Our famous clickbait podcast. Sure, we got we got this covered covered. But from our our pals over at InsideTheMagic.com. dot Oh, big fan. Big fan, Mason. Or inside the magic.net. Yeah, big, their, big, banner says, fan. their banner says inside the magic.com, but the website is inside the magic.net. Incredible. Anyway, uh, in Disney in panic after Indiana Jones 5 flops. Are those all the quotes? Because you kept doing the air quotes. They're all in quotes here. Yeah. Wow. Indiana Jones is in trouble again, but this time it's not snakes, an ancient curse, poison, or a corrupt government. It's the fans themselves. <laughs> I love all the things they named. Uh, well, you're going to love that they name all the movies yep. in order for SEO purposes. Yeah, yeah cool, okay, yeah. Uh, I'll, but I'll skip that because that's not what this show is about. It's not what about. this is. This is a normal um, show. It's a normal show. A report from Hollywood Insider Overlord DVD. <laughs> our old mate. <laughs> our old mate, James. He's a good friend of ours. Why would you put a – change your name. Get, <laughs> get rid of the obsolete form of media. Call it H, high definition, Ooh. Uh, many pixels. I'd be Overlord 4K, I reckon. Yeah. Or 8K. 8K, even, even better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd be Overlord whatever the format James Cameron is going to cram on us Ooh, in a few years' time. Overlord submarine disc. <laughs> That's right. Water-infused submarine anyway, disc. Anyway, this is this is in a smelling of salt waterlog disc. It's got a bit of seaweed on it disc. Mm-hmm. What we, what, what's, what's it say, though? Well, this is just – this is a report from Overlord DVD. Yep. Not a real insider. No. Has been a tr- Indiana Jones 5 has been a trouble production delayed a full year after this channel leaked the horrible things Kathleen Kennedy had planned. For Typical. Indiana. She's done it again. Typical. Now after a year's worth of reshoots and tinkering, Disney realised they have a disaster on their hands as test audiences reject every single version they've been shown! Exclamation point. <laughs> Some rumours are swirling that Disney is even considering sending the movie straight to Disney Plus in fear that it will flop in the movie theatres. Totally. They've done quotes because flop is an industry. Indiana so, Jones will doing, flop. Doing badly, yeah. 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 I mean, it's possible that Indiana Jones will flop, but like, come on. Yeah, yeah. Let's be real for once in our lives, Mason. Let's be serious for once. Be serious. Do you think it's going to flop? No. I agree. Nice. Good serious moment on the yeah. show there. <laughs> it's good, I think. We're doing our serious faces and everything. <laughs> As far as the ending of the movie goes, there are rumours that Phoebe Waller-Bridge will be replacing Harrison Ford at the film's end. Phoebe Waller cut the bridge in half and the bridge falls down? Nice. Temple of Doom style, That's Mason? That's good. That what did you think of that? Style. I liked it. Bridge out, he could yell. No, I don't like it. I don't <laughs> like it anymore. Uh, anyway, though Disney is not confirmed because it's not true, there are reports that an Indiana Jones series is set to be developed for Disney+, Plus, and this could be and this could Phoebe Waller-Bridge taking over the lead role in the franchise. Could? Yeah, could Phoebe Waller this could Phoebe Waller Bridge take actually, actually, yeah. oh. I have an actual bit of news. But anyway, all this, um, if there's more to read, please feel free. But uh, somebody asked, Gus Hedenborg asked James Mangold uh, if there's been any screenings, and he said, 
Nope, haven't been any screenings. Uh, James, I think, I think you're, you're mistaken there because, I mean, maybe while, while director James Mangold, director of this movie, yeah. uh, has said that, Overlord DVD has said that there were screenings of six different endings and, okay. and nobody liked none of them. It's so expensive to film six different endings as well. Well, that's what they want to do. You mean, they spend most a, you'd film two. You they know? want to spend the maximum amount of money for this movie they're going to dump directly on <laughs> Disney+. Plus. <laughs> uh, someone also said to him, uh, to James Mangold, I got the leaked trailer if you want to see it. And James Mangold said, thanks, that's cool. I have a pretty <laughs> good copy myself and soon everyone will. So that, that is cool. That went out on Sunday. So that's going to be... Soon, it seems. Uh, did you see any of that leaked trailer? No, because it's not real? No, no, it is real. Oh. It came up on my Twitter feed. It looks great. Genuinely. Okay, great. Okay, yeah, cool. it looks really good. Uh, I hope it's good because, you know, who doesn't who doesn't love good movies? I, I saw another clip that came up on Twitter recently. <laughs> James, a lot of people don't like it. Like, but you know that bit where they, Indiana Jones gives the, um, the, the grail diary to Marcus Brody mm-hmm. and then he, he just tells this bold-faced lie that he speaks 12 languages and he knows everybody in every village from here to wherever. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. And then it cuts to him and he's just like flailing in a market yeah, stall yeah, yeah, or whatever. Uh-huh. Love it. Good movie. It is a good I movie. say, yeah. Uh, anyway, in terms of the animated series, mate. Sorry, not animated series. Series Variety reported uh, rumors of an Indiana Jones series. Animated in series, you say? Well, some no. Indiana Jones babies. <laughs> it's not animated, actually. All right. Some people said maybe do something animated, and I think absolutely mm-hmm. do an Indiana Jones animated series. I would love that. My first thought was, get- I've got a, he's got a whip. It's a, it's a talking whip. It's called Mister Whippy. Has it got a rattle in the bottom of it? It's yes. called Mr. Whippy. It's called Mr. Whippy. Can't do that, Mason. For copyright reasons. Copyright reasons. reasons. Yeah, you can't. Right. Okay. You could call it Mr. Hit someone in the face. Nice. Still whip out someone's eye. Okay, great. Yeah. My Mr. Fir- choking has it. <laughs> My first thought was, seeing as he's back, Kiku Kwan to do a short round series, yes. an adult short round. Mm-hmm. But apparently, this is why Jeff Snyder, it's going to be a prequel and it's going to focus on Indy's mentor, Abner Ravenwood, oh, who is Marion Ravenwood's, Ravenwood's father, who's no. never, he's, you don't see him in oh, any. Oh, so um, it could be anyone. Yeah. That's smart thinking. Yeah. Because nobody can be like, oh, excuse me, nobody can ever hold a candle to Harrison Ford or Mr. Whippy. So, yeah. you know. <laughs> Mr. Joking Acid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, look, it's not my, like, Ideal thing to see, but you know, whatever well, you can. But well, like if you, you ask said, me, you don't do anything that the fans want. Exactly, but you can go. Like you said, you can do something completely fresh. Mm-hmm. He's never been cast. Yeah. Um, our friend Hollywood Pete mm-hmm. was this close to doing an indie comic in the nineties about this guy. Huh? Yeah, I remember him telling me it got yeah. like it was this close to happening. Okay. Yeah. And the initial story, and I think they changed it, was that. Marion was underage, and he, the Indiana Jones, was like in college or whatever. Oh, and that was the uh, that was the original age gap. I don't know whether they they've tweaked it since, though. Right. Yeah. In the, in, so in Raiders, I think it's the same, right? Is is it not? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know okay, the age right. gap, but yes. But yeah, that's the smart thing to do because if if I mean, or is it? I think that mm. it, it, not that bit. Mm. That, I don't know what's going. <laughs> I'm going to start again. The the idea that we we get a new character who we've never seen before. Yeah, I think it potentially is a smart move because, like we said. There's then no comparison. It's not like solo. Yeah. We have to, literally, we have to compare Harrison Ford to another actor. Yeah. You just go, it's a new guy. Yeah. And you've got to take that on its own merits. But is the magic of Indiana Jones that it's a guy going on archaeological adventures or is it that it's Harrison Ford going on archaeological we'll find adventures? Out, I guess, right? right? And, it, and are they going to, do you think they're going to, do you think that Abner Ravenwood mm. is going to have a lot of similarities to Indiana Jones? Yes. Do you think he'll have a whip and a hat? Well, I like example? the idea from The Last Crusade that Indiana Jones stole his entire personality and look from another guy. Yeah, right. Just I thought that guy. was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So I think there's going to be a lot of similarities. This also sounds like it could be very young Indiana Jones. Uh, Educational? I, I no. But just like you might get a like a young Sean Connery type doing – Indiana Jones' father and Oh, whatever, you team you know. him up. Team him up. You team up Abner Ravenwood and Henry Jones Sr. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. But anyway, again, I want the short round series, but whatever. Who's a young Scottish actor? A young Scottish actor? Yes. Donald McGloveness Loch Ness. Oh, yes? Monster. <laughs> you know him? <laughs> no, He's up and coming. Sure. He's up and yeah, coming. You yeah, wouldn't yeah. know him. He's very big on TikTok. He's probably in the Banshees of Intro and I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> sure. So. Young Scottish actor. God, mm. they'd be heaps. They would be heaps. Hang on. Ewan yeah. McGregor. 
Too old, Mason. And yeah, he's already he's he's already been in uh, Star Wars, hasn't oh, yeah, he? That's true. Yeah. yeah uh, I'm getting right. what's his name. Um, the the dude who played Icarus in. Uh, oh, Richard Madden. Yeah, that's not a bad That'd choice. Actually, yeah, I don't mind okay. that. James McAvoy probably. Man, no, you could do him. Probably the guy from um the one where it's time traveling and it's sexy and Scottish. Sexy. What? <laughs> what's it called? <laughs> Everyone fucking loves this show. What's his, what's it named? I don't know. It's not called know. Highlander. It's called Outlander. Outlander. Okay, Thank right. You. Okay. There's one. Okay, great. Yeah. No, there's a lot of sexy Scots going on here, Mason. All right. I've, oh, see, I've, I've Doug Ray Scott. There's a sexy Scot for mm, you. For sure, yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm just now in a, just a Google mm. rabbit hole of sexy Scotsman, Mason. I'm going to be here for the rest of the show. Thank you very much. A lot of James McAvoy and Ewan McGregor. Okay, could you, add, could you add to Jerry something? Butler. Perfect. <laughs> Sexy Scotsman. I love Jerry Butler. Sexy Scotsman plus kilt. Add that and see what happens. All right. Scot- Scotsman mm-hmm. plus kilt. Nice. Pretty sexy stuff, mate. I should have written no kilt. Whoa. Yeah. All right. Great stuff, Mason. Mm, all right. Um, I would watch, yeah, Richard Madden as young Henry Jones Sr. Why sure, not? Sure why not? Great. Or another actor. Or another actor. Netflix News, Mason. Go on. Uh, Gears of War, Ooh. this is their announcement officially, was re- released 16 years ago today, not today, when this is the other day. Mm-hmm. And to mark the occasion, Netflix has partnered with the coalition to adapt the at Gears of War video game saga into a live action feature film, followed by an adult animated series with the potential for more stories to follow. Whoa. Now, was Dave Bautista involved in this in he some way? He posted I think he was in an ad or he voiced a guy and whatever. Nice. Maybe he was in a short film. You've seen him in an ad. Yeah. You've heard him voice a guy. <laughs> now he's back he's, to put on some sunglasses <laughs> and promote this thing. He doesn't know what it is. I think that was an old. We gave him literally a million dollars for this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was old footage of something that he okay, right. did and then he was like, I want to be in Gears of War. Let okay. me do it. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, throw it on the pile of attempts at video game franchises and whatever. Nice. So why the flippin' switch not, Mason? We're throwing this on the Halo pile this I time. I agree. Mm-hmm. Now, you know there's Godzilla vs. Kong, the movie is getting a sequel. I do, and it's got a delightful new name. What is it? Godzilla and Kong. That's right. It's kind of uh, what is that? What's that word? They've leveled out a bit. You know what I mean? Sure, yeah. The animosity is clearly. That's true, yeah. Do you reckon they're going to have a little bit of a scrape though? Yeah. Yeah. Because they're they're, they're animals. They don't really truly understand one another. One has an axe too. That's true. Yeah. (laughs) Crazy. Uh, The the next one, Godzilla Hearts Kong. (laughs) The sequel. Does does Kong heart Godzilla? Mm, Yes. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Just for the synopsis, the sequel pits the almighty Kong and the fearsome Godzilla against a colossal undiscovered threat hidden within our world, challenging their very existence and our own. So, uh, Probably. Hollow Earth, et cetera. Mm-hmm. I sure, liked sure, sure. Godzilla versus Kong as watching, watching it. And I'm like, they've really just gone bananas on this. Haven't <laughs> they? Absolutely gone bananas. Excuse the pun. Oh, and I think that was supposed on to be account the, of Godzilla. That's right. Mm. And I think that was supposed to be the last one until they're like, oh, people like these and this made money, even though it went to streaming at the same time. Mm. It was one of the few HBO movies that year that went to streaming and cinemas that did do well. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Let's, I think it's finished filming and whatever. And Okay. What do you think of the title Godzilla and Kong? Don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it either. Try harder. Come on. Yeah. You can't you can't do better than Godzilla and Kong. <laughs> what about Godzilla Kong? Would that sound better? Godzilla slash Kong? What about Godzilla no. Kong versus another thing? Just another yes. thing. Yes. I mean, that's the tradition, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, all the Godzilla movies are some variation of Godzilla. Godzilla versus off the it. top rope. What about that? Nice, yeah. Godzilla yeah. do a power bomb <laughs> on Kong. Oh god. Godzilla and Kong versus Charles Barkley. Nice. Bring that back. Bring that back, yes. <laughs> Just beat Charles Buckley to death. Oh, great stuff. Trailers ahoy, Mason. <laughs> We're talking John Wick 4. Mm. Now, you know, it's um, he's hitting a dude rapidly in the head with nunchucks. He's getting that guy. Which you couldn't do in the UK. They will not let you do that's that. That's true, yeah. They banned him at some hit point. Hit him with a, with, a, with a watercress sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And a Harrods. In a Harrods. Mm, yeah. Yes. In, no. a Fortinum, in a Fortinum and a Mason, mm. a fancy department store. So I um, I don't really remember much from the trailer. Other, you know, okay, sure. Get some Donnie Yen, et cetera. Uh-huh. But I did see a weird coin or medallion get passed over for some reason. That's very And I love, same with Godzilla versus Kong, just the complicated and nonsensical lore that's been going, mm. building in this universe and really specific rules that you can't break unless you do. That's right. And then you're in trouble unless you just kill the next level of yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. 
in the organization. You got you got to commit to a, a a world spanning journey where you cut one of your fingers off and just travel <laughs> through the desert, and then you're like, I'm I'm committed to this, and then you're like, No, nah, actually, I don't care anymore. Yeah, I'm done. Um, I'm tired. Someone described on Twitter, I, I saw described the John Wick universe as sumptuous, and I agree with that. Okay. I just, you know, it's very a lot of lot of delightful environments, and you know, yeah, that's the, true. The tents in the desert, and, and I didn't love and, the last one. It kind of blend; they've all kind of blended no, I didn't, together. Look, at I this think point. we we have rev- we did review yeah, the last not because it's bad, but it was just like I felt point, a lot I of the action it. was a little bit samey. Okay, it felt kind of video gamey, but yeah, right. I, and it, and it, look, my biggest criticism of the last one that it did pretty much end the same way it started. Like the status yeah. quo was not. Uh, changed really at all, except for he's missing a finger now. Yep. And I, uh, I, I don't even remember that. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, he chopped his finger off in the desert. Yeah, maybe. All right, nice. Maybe that's true. Yeah, nice. But I have high hopes for, th- for this one. Of course, we got Donnie Yen, which is great. Do you get dirt in the end of his finger? Oh yeah. Which finger did he cut off? Middle, I assume. No, it was one of the ring fingers. I think it's your Assassin's Creed finger. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good though mm. for Assassin's Creed purposes. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. This is kind of Assassin's Creed. Did you know creating. you can't you can't bend your ring finger independently if you're no because it's connected to another like that. Oh my god, he's doing it! No. No, it is this with, man's a freak. It is something to do with tendons and yeah, they're yeah, on the yeah, same yeah. tendon or something. Yeah, I can't yeah. remember. Yeah, I got extra tendons. Yeah, it seems that way, doesn't it? So you know, Don't okay, but you're doing that, but also your ring toes are moving at the same time. <laughs> so the, you got some weird <laughs> full body attached tendons there. It's true. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. It's yeah. very, very exciting. March, I think, I wanted to say. Mm. I want to say. Let me ask you this question, James. I'm ready. And here's my answer. Actually, why don't you ask? I'll question ask the question first. first. I'll be asking the questions, Mason. How do you feel about the idea mm. that only John Wick 3 has a subtitle and none of the others do? Oh, my. Parabellum? Parabellum. And then it's 1, 2, realize. Parabellum 4. Hate that. Pretty bad, right? But it adds to the complicated lore of the universe. Doesn't it, though? Yeah. 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 Yeah, whatever, I guess. Yeah, okay, I've forgotten. Okay. They'll just change it anyway. It that's tr- yeah, that's – well, I think 4 was going to have a subtitle, but then they've taken it away. Okay. Mm-hmm. God. Hollywood. Right. Yeah, right. They'll never stop. Oh, my God. You know, the wheels within wheels. You don't know what they're up to. It's true. Uh, here's some Tom Holland Spider-Man news, Mason. Hello. This is via a few people, including the it's Hot Tom Mike news. podcast and the Cosmic Circus and many others. Apparently he's signed on or at the very least is very close to signing on for Spider-Man 4. And other people are saying that it's going to be a trilogy plus, of course, the next Avenger, Avengers movies, et cetera, and so mm. forth. Probably. <laughs> sure, absolutely, uh, yeah. Some of that, yeah. will, all of that will be true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's, he, yeah, he'd get a... Shit ton of money. You've got to get that bag. You've got to get that cheese, years. as we say. That's what we say. Mm-hmm. Why wouldn't you do it? Yeah. And it hasn't seemed to stop him from like doing other projects. So, mm, sure. you know, why wouldn't mm-hmm. he do it? Yeah. He's Nathan Drake, which was a movie that came out, believe it or not, this year. Unbelievable. <laughs> I do not believe it. <laughs> Feels 2016, doesn't it? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, but I mean, you know, they are a ton of work. And yeah. you, you can't rule out these days that somebody might just be like, well, I made. X millions of dollars for all this, and I'm, I don't want to do it anymore. No, <laughs> fair enough. So, you know, God damn. Anyway, good on him. Would you be upset if a uh, recast of Spider Man happened? Yeah, whatever. At this point, you know, <laughs> yeah, they've right. recast a bunch of people. <laughs> Most of the legacy characters are leaving yeah. anyway, or actors. Uh-huh. So it's fine. Whatever. He's good. I like yeah. him. But like, we've had three. That's so true. Just get another. Get one of the other ones or cast it again. It's yeah. fine. You know. Yeah. Get um. Get that Scottish actor. You and McDonald, Loch Ness monster. That's the one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Precisely. Yeah. Great stuff, Mason. Uh, this is by THR, and this is James Gunn talking about his DCU, which he is developing. Do you see that? Oh, Mason? sounds like he's going to ruffle a few feathers. Not really. Terrific. Uh, this is such a unique opportunity to tell one great overarching story, one big, one beautiful big story across film, television, gaming, live action, and animation. So it's going to be that. Comic where Superman eats a lot of hamburgers. Oh, I'd love that. One that. panel. It's going to be. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be over Super movies, animation, games. Them. He's like, I can't stop eating these hamburgers. But do, why is the question? Do you think it's too much to do games as well with the hamburgers? Which is the games tying into the movies? It's. Mm. I like that what Marvel have been doing with their video games that they're separate, so you don't have to. I mean, they're not always good, but at least you don't have to rush it out to time with a movie that's coming out. Well, true, and uh, you know we've we've spoken about in the past how. That kind of tie-in movie has kind of uh, that kind of tie-in game has kind of died out because yeah, they're bad. Well, obviously. they're bad, but also the the risk of spoilers is insane because yeah. you have to you have to hand over the plot 
of the movies to the, the video yeah. game makers. Is is he saying that specifically, or maybe he means more in generalities? Like, okay, maybe he does, if there's yeah. going to be a you know a new Black Adam movie, then we get a Black Adam game. And is it's, they, do you think there's going to be a new Black Adam movie? I don't know. Based <laughs> on the news you've, you've you've got lined up there, perhaps there won't be another Black <laughs> Adam movie. I just don't. Know. I think we'll see him again, regardless. Mm-hmm. But he, he went on to say that we spent the last couple of days with a group of some of the best thinkers in the industry, the best writers in the, in the industry, starting to map out our eight to ten year plan of what's got, what's going to look like in theatre, in TV, and animation across the board of all these characters. He also said that we'll be waiting a while for any kind of official slate announcement. But you're the official slate announcement. Yeah, but he James hasn't Gunn. done it yet. Okay, right. Yeah, do you, do you, get working on that slate, James Gunn. Did you see that thing where he was like? Everybody, uh, um, we hear you. Did you see that? <laughs> no, I didn't see that. We know no. that you all want Zack Snyder. We hear you. Oh, right, right. We know you want Aya or whatever. We hear you. We definitely hear to you. To be clear, we hear you. Yeah. You are drowning out everything else. Yes. We, the, we could not help but hear you. You know the, the way that if they're not doing the Zack Snyder stuff, uh-huh. which it seems at this point at the very least they're not, mm-hmm. who knows that could change, the way to stop people doing that is just make really good stuff and people will stop. If you keep making like Black Adams, oh, then I don't think people will stop. I think people will be like, why did you throw out the previous universe for this? I think no matter how good the subsequent movies are, mm. there will be a subset of people oh, yeah, who will definitely, never stop. But it like will the quieten. Batman is, is, I think, you know, top tier yeah. comic book movie stuff and people didn't stop after that. That's true, but I think it's also time is passing. Mm, it's not making is money. other things and your time is money. Very good. And I think, you know, certain fandoms – Maybe mm-hmm. for former presidents or, or movies, mm-hmm. do decline. The fandom of president movies. Yeah, that's right. The founder of movies. The founder of movies. His legacy yeah. will never die, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, well, you're the only one who cares about this character we made up just then. <laughs> uh, He's oh. always having drinks with Marlene Dietrich or whatever. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Neither is that do I, really. <laughs> no, she's real. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> My brain just went old reference. You got oh, me? Not really. Perfect. I don't know. Yeah. That's good. It sounds obscure. Yeah. So I would have said Hepburn Zigfeld, They went to the Ziegfeld Follies. Did they? Yep. What was that like? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's a real thing or a movie. I don't know. So that's maybe also made up but potentially not. Fred Astaire's real? Yeah. No, he's real. It's too mainstream. What happened to that Fred Astaire, Tom Holland biopic? When's that happening? Is it? Yes. Or did we've we make about that up? It. No, we've talked about that. That's, that's real. You Google it. I'm going to eat a donut. <laughs> what? Yeah. You got one for me? Yes, I offered you a donut multiple times. I don't want a donut, Mason. I'm trying to get abs for summer. God. Hey, summer, it's too late. Oh, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Give me a donut. <laughs> no, I'm all right. Okay. Fred Astaire, Tom Holland. Little donuts, Mason. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, December 21st. Oh, sorry, December 5th of last year, Tom Holland confirms he will play Fred Astaire in an upcoming something, 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 something. But there hasn't been anything really about that since. Intriguing. I agree. Mm. Not as intriguing as it. Did you get only chocolate donuts? I got sprinkles? only chocolate donuts. Yes. You don't like the the strawberry ones or whatever. I had a strawberry one the other day, and I'm like, no good. I like it, but perhaps overwhelmingly strawberry. Man, my kids love donuts. They'd be eating donuts all day. They eat in front of me. They know I'm trying to get abs for summer. They don't even huh. care. They eat donuts yeah. in front of me. So they know it's too late. They know summer bodies are built in winter. <laughs> They've told you that multiple I times. I know it. Look, it's neither here nor there. I just don't like to hear it. So. <laughs> Jason Momoa also did you see he was asked about whether he was going to be Lobo. Oh yeah, right. Because somebody, because I think somebody hinted at it. Maybe James Gunn tweeted a picture oh. of it or something, and he was like, "Oh, what? It? Where did you hear that? Uh-huh. Uh, show me proof or whatever." Uh-huh. That's what he said in the interview. So I think there's a chance that he might be Lobo. And if you put on the wig and the makeup and the, yeah, you, you could do it and be like, "He's why not? These two yeah. characters, it's That's fine. fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. That's yeah. uh... but he says he's got every comic." Every Lobo comic Jason ever. Momoa does. Apparently. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's, so that's big... a bit of fun. Yeah. Why not? I mean, we've had, you know, Gemma Chan had two roles, albeit yep. one was quite minor. Yep. Um, other people have. Uh, what what's his name? The, he played, uh, what was it? He's the wizard in Shazam and he's also, he was a fish man in That's true he was. I mean, you, you know. Jaman Honsu. Yeah, but the fish man, like, you yeah. can Yeah. Well, he's in a trillion roles, that guy. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's also in, oh, he's in Guardians, but that doesn't count. As a movie? Yeah. <laughs> Disregard everybody. Disregard it. He might also be in Captain Marvel. He's in Captain Marvel. He's in Captain Marvel, yeah. Great stuff, Mason. Anyways, last bit of news. Um, Black Adam is not going to be releasing in China, it seems, Ooh. which is bad news. Mm-hmm. Why uh, is that? Because it's going to probably need around 500 million to break even. Oh, no, I meant why is it not being released? Because they only release like six movies a year, maybe. Okay, from so it's not the Demon stuff. Maybe might be the Demon stuff. Mm. I don't know. Maybe they just want a better movie. Yeah, maybe. So, yeah, I, if it if it... 
Have they released Don't Worry Darling in China or are they zero for two? <laughs> Uh, for those who don't know, Warner Brothers only had money to release two movies this year, apparently. And one was it was those two. But, yeah, it's not looking good, especially considering, like, Black Panther 2 is out this week. Mm-hmm. And in its first week, it will beat the domestic uh, – so to, to beat the entire run that oh, no. Black Adam has had as of so far, Mason. Mm. So, you know, it is what it is. It was it's okay. True. I know I'm crapping on it, but, like, it was fine. Yeah, sure. If you're in the mood for fun stuff. Yeah. I thought it was a bit of fun. I wasn't in the mood for that. But maybe I'll see it next time and be like, oh, this was garbage. (laughs) I wouldn't even say it's garbage, Mason. I wouldn't even say that to you right now. (laughs) I wouldn't say it. Black Panther, Wakanda forever, everybody, and Mason specifically. Hello. So, Mason, this movie has a budget, believe it or not, of $250 million. I believe it. That's a big budget. Yes. He's right, everybody, to agree with me on that. Uh, it's looking at this point a U.S. box office opening weekend of between 175 to 185 million dollars. This is via Deadline, but it could hit as high as 190. Mason, that's a lot of bread. Plus, uh, if you, it's true. Plus, if you look at the international box office as well, it looks like it's going to be around 300 million dollars worldwide at minimum, if not more. And that's opening weekend. It's opening weekend. So these are very good initial numbers if these turn out to be true. Huge if true. Huge if true. But then, of course, there's legs and et cetera and so forth. And will Avatar there's knock what? it off? There's legs. Legs, like if it's got legs. Oh, for sure. A week. Okay. It's got to go up against some other uh-huh. stuff before the end of the year, mm-hmm. namely Avatar, but that's not for another month-ish. I can't remember. It's not important. But what is important is whether you remember what the story was. Oh, no. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So, Here we go. So Black Panther. Yep. Well, he's he 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 no longer with us. He he died. That'd be sad. Yeah. That'd be sad. But mm. uh, but everybody's got to keep on trucking, don't they? Yep. They keep on trucking because there's trouble. There's trouble out in the world, and people are like, "Hey, we're kind of give us your vibranium. Go on, go on. No, give me it. Give me the vibranium. Come on, mm. come on. You got t- you got heaps. You got vibranium. Just give me. We a, have none. We give us a little vibranium. Come on. We won't make. We won't make. We won't. We won't make bombs with it. <laughs> we promise. We won't make any bombs with it. Come on. Yeah, what, we're gonna take it. Oh, you've stopped us. Yeah. And we take it some guns. Oh, you've stopped us. Stopped us again. But then what if? Mm, what if? What if the submariner's there? Mm. It'd be a different story, wouldn't it? I mean, yeah. Yeah, and it'll it be is. this story. Black Panther will kind of forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the plot of mm. this movie. Absolutely. Now, coming out of this, I'm like, I don't think that was very well paced. I think it's really missing Chadwick Boseman. Mm-hmm. I think, he, like, from seeing this, like, he was clearly cast very well and did that role yeah. perfectly. And there's a big element of that, you know, obviously – with his passing, you you can't put him in it unless you recast it. That's true. So I think, like structurally, and I don't think the storyline and the combination of you know Namor and those two kingdoms battling, and then the relation to everybody else, I don't really think any of that worked. Any well. of it? Not any? No, sorry, it didn't work as I well as I would have liked. Yeah, I should have let you. Finish and I think it's like it's it's long. It this feels one. long. Uh huh. Uh, but I also think there's a lot of things that it does, like the things that it does really well is the character stuff. And the strength of the performance. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that's what that's what that's where I am with this movie. That's mm-hmm. what I think absolutely like gets it over the line. Okay, right. What about you? It was, certainly was long. Yeah. <laughs> and look, there is a moment in this where we do see some old footage of Chadwick Boseman. Yeah. And you go, man, that guy shines very bright. Yeah. Like this Damn, guy was a real sucks. star. Yeah. And like you see you see the charm and the charisma of the yeah. guy and it's like, yeah, would have would have been nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think the, the thing about this movie is I think the performances are really good and I think it is a great sort of exploration of loss. In, Definitely, and, you know, and yeah. I and I, I think per- perhaps if if you are you are out there and you are dealing with some loss, mm. might not be the best movie for you. Sure, of, yeah, but or even if this was yeah. like a character or an actor like that affected you personally, you know, which, yeah, which sure. can definitely you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. be the case. In terms of it being, but but that's the thing. I I wonder if or or even if again, like you, you're out there going. You know, these movies are action packed, fun, blockbuster roller coasters, and, and I don't want to think about that sort of thing. Mm. Perhaps this isn't going to hit as well as you would hope. Yeah. But I think that the. It's the, tonally more The Eternals, which sounds bad. <laughs> but I guess the stakes of The Eternals is different because, like, I don't care right. about any of them. So, like, oh, Druig's whatever, or so and so got stabbed by what's his. Face. Kingo. Kingo. <laughs> yeah. That's, well, Kingo oh, was there. Kingo was there. Like, I don't care. He was there and then he wasn't yeah, there. Yeah, but the difference. Which, then he came back. Yeah, but I just mean like tonally it's mm-hmm. it's pretty serious and characters who were silly or, or over the top or quite lighthearted just pivot wildly in this for obvious reasons, which 
which I liked. You mm. know, it's it's yeah, it's yeah. a pretty fucking somber affair for a Marvel well, it is, movie. It is a yeah. somber affair, and I guess you know, and I, I I would be a hypocrite if I said you know Marvel needs to branch out and do more things. And, uh, and they can't just be silly action vehicles now yeah. and have them do something else and be like, well, I didn't like that. Mm. I did like this. I thought this yeah. was this was very good. I think there was some probably uh, – I think the introduction of Namor was good and the introduction of the Marvel Universe's version of Atlantis, which is called Talacan. Yeah. Because they were like, well – you can't say Atlantis. DC did Atlantis. They already, did, Atlantis and, they already uh, did it. Yeah, 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 they already did it. I liked all the tweaks to that and what they made of the culture and all of that. And I think – look, I'll talk more about the underwater stuff, but like the – the costuming on that incredible, and they really like Namor is a hard character to yes, do to uh-huh. translate, and they changed quite a lot of him. Mm-hmm. Like he's you know he doesn't have the slicked back widow's peak and all That's of true, that. Yeah. He's less like a dolphin man, and he looks like a real kind of guy, you know. Yeah. And I but I think all of that works really well, and I think he's really good. Yeah. But they, they even made him having little wings kind of menacing. Yeah, they did. Like you hear the the you know you hear the buzz of the like a mosquito <laughs> mason, yeah. which is. <laughs> you're coming in. Is that one of them skeeters? Oh, no, yeah. it's Namor. And they say he's a mutant. Like they straight up just say, yeah, he's a mutant. Mm. We can say that now. They look at the camera and they go, we, we could say so that now. now. Yeah. So don't even worry about it. But I think you're right in the sense of uh, what they do with grief in this and there's just like sadness and rage and making sense of everything and where do you put all of that. Yeah. I think it does a really good job. Could and I what, have fixed him with the DNA? Could I have fixed I have him with DNA? moved some balls around and, and d- fixed him done with the DNA? Some DNA stuff maybe. But I think, you know, if you look at like Shuri's arc for this, who's more of a central role, if not the central role in this movie, but there's a few people who obviously step up. Mm-hmm. Her arc is very similar to his arc in, to Charles' arc in Civil War. Right. You know, like looking for revenge, you know, and, Maybe that's, you know, doing doing a big revenge is not where you're going to find peace and maybe the people who are left, you know, who have left, they don't want that for you or, you know, don't, you know, don't, they don't want to be revenged. Mm. Yeah. I also thought it was interesting that there's a, there's a line in this or a moment and it's from Shuri where she talks about how she's angry that, because that they, this is, up, this happens in the very opening sequence. So it's, we'll do major spoilers. So I guess it's a minor spoiler if you haven't seen it, but they ex- explain that he's sick. And they don't name the illness, mm. but it seems as if though that he he kept it a secret. Yes, and she's mad that he kept it a secret because she could have helped him. Like Chadwick Boseman kept his. Yeah, a secret, and I yeah. just wonder whether that was like one of the writers or Ryan Coogler or that was an idea. I don't know, but I just think that felt to me like, and not a blaming of Chadwick Boseman because of course he's allowed to keep it a secret. Yeah, uh-huh. you know, that's his. That was his personal kind of burden, but mm. just like if you were close to somebody like that and you didn't know, I could see how you would be like. That's really sucks that you didn't tell me that, yes, that you exactly. were going yeah, through that. Sure, but yeah, again, yeah. that's that's not for you know. That also is like selfish to be like, why didn't you tell me right, that yes. you were you were so yeah, unwell? Yeah. Or like the idea of like, well, why why didn't you trust me enough to you know exactly. that, that kind of thing? You know, yeah. But I think I don't know. I don't know Chad, Chadwick Boseman, but it just seemed as if like he just thought, he told me you did know Chad. I didn't know Boseman. him at all, Mason. I was huh. lying. But <laughs> I just wanted to think you to think I was cool. But <laughs> well, it didn't work. <laughs> But I think that I said, "Why don't you bring Chadwick Boseman to my birthday party?" And you were like, "He was busy." It seemed as if, like, yeah, he didn't want people to know, and he thought he was going to get better up until like yeah. the very end. Mm-hmm. And I, I saw an interview with Ryan Coogler. I read an interview where, like, they spoke a few weeks before, and Ryan Coogler was like, "Yeah, he sounded like he was lying down." And he was like, "Do you want me to send the script over?" And apparently, a lot of elements for this are the same. Like, it was always going to be Namor and all of that, yeah, right. and. Uh, and Chadwick Boseman was like, "Ah, oh, no, look, I'll, I'll, I'll get to it. Whatever, don't worry. Like, you know, I'll read it in a bit." And then, you know, he and that was the last time that they spoke. Mm. Uh, you know who is really good in this though? Go on, Angela Bassett. Yes, amazing. Yeah, mm-hmm. that speech that she does about what, like what's been taken from her and what she's given up. Incredible. Mm. She's, I think, hands down, like the best thing in this movie. I don't know whether you want to name a better thing, Mason. Martin Freeman <laughs> as <laughs> Agent Ross. I could take a leave. You see him jogging? You having a bit of a jog? That whole section, the they, sub, the sub. they could take that out. Well, Martin Freeman is in this. I like those yeah. two as well. It's a Martin Freeman and um, what's Ju- her name? Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Yeah. Yeah. And it's clearly setting up Thunderbolts, Thunderbolts and, and whatever yeah. else. But just I think that could have been like two scenes yeah, they as could opposed have... to just have this running thing going. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like that was the only element that was that was linking this to the larger Marvel universe, yeah. or or not. Or someone says Namor's the strongest Hulk. I think. Yeah, yeah, that's true. 
That's what I think. All right. Maybe even as strong as Thor, I think. <laughs> That's pretty strong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Maybe, maybe even as strong as Kang the Conqueror. We haven't seen yet, but I've heard. I've heard rumours that he's super strong. He's the toughest bad guy yet. Yeah. I think. What do you think of that, like, comparing character strengths and, and all of that? Yeah, why not? Yeah. I like it. I think it's fun yeah. to be like a mentative fool's in and whatever. Mm. What was I going to say there? Oh, yeah. So obviously, you know, Black Panther exists in the wider Marvel universe, but I the, the, the parts that felt the most like here's how we connect this to the next mm. scene. It's the, or the next movie. Here it is. Yeah. Here's, here's the, here's the Easter egg stuff you want. It was the, the Everett Ross and, uh, and, yeah. and the Contessa scenes. Which yeah. again, could have been a post credits. Could have been. Or, you know, the scene at the start and the scene at the end. Maybe yeah. even a scene in the middle, Mason. Ooh. But I mean, they were like, you know, they, they were married at one point, it seems and whatever, but yeah, I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't super invested in that. Maybe we will be later when we're like, oh, that's what this is what happened in the previous movie. <laughs> that's right. And they said name was as strong as the Hulk, I think. <laughs> also, another thing that I liked about this. Go on. The costuming mm. and the world building of Wakanda in particular. Yes. I mean, goddamn. Like, obviously, it seems as if, a, like, it feels like real sets. Yeah, yeah. And, like, real costumes. And I think, you know, with, like, Thor, Love and Thunder, uh-huh. there was a lot of, like, this looks like nowhere. No, that's like, true, yeah. Not the the big floating celestial They, they head. wouldn't have had time to, like, course correct. So I imagine this is just yeah. Ryan Coogler's gone, we need real sets. Like, well, I don't think it was a reaction to Thor, Love and Thunder. No, not at all. Absolutely not. But it just, it, like, I thought Wakanda was really well fleshed out in the previous movie that we talked about, was that four years ago, five Trillion years, years ago? ago? I can't remember. Really, really good. Now I agree with you, except for I feel like in the previous movie, everybody in Wakanda had like a very specific like look to like. Do you all, mean of like different regions? And yeah, stuff, no, I or? mean even the civilians, just okay, the people yeah. in the town had like a look that was sort of unique to this country specifically, okay, this nation. Yeah. Whereas I think in this one, it's just like you just see a guy in shorts and a t-shirt, <laughs> okay. like just I just some regular notice, people, and I'm like, honest. all right, yeah, okay. Maybe that's what they wow. do. Also, I guess there's been more connection between oh, that's the outside true. world, yeah. so maybe that was an element that's of right. it. But no, I didn't, I didn't notice that at all. Okay. But just seeing even like just a council of people in Wakanda like sitting around and just the variety of looks that you yep. get just from that. Well, I, I loved, I love this. Awesome. There, there is a scene set in the UN where yeah, the queen and her her entourage arrive. And the, just the content. Johnny drama, turtle. <laughs> That's right. E. <laughs> Vince uh, is uh, dead. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Oh, the original well, Aquaman, he was, he's dead. Well, that's, I mean, well, then they need, in, they need to join a new entourage, <laughs> exactly. I guess. Yeah. But when she Who shows, better than Angela yeah. Bassett? And everybody looks so dull, but the Wakandans, yeah. look, you know, they, they've got that incredible the real, look. Which I, is, that, that scene I liked, because there are, obviously, they go out into the, the, the real world, I guess. And the, the, I, I loved that, and it's got just the UN and the French Mason just hitting them up for like Wakandan technology and uh-huh. vibranium specifically. Yeah, and you know, you f- and the way that un- that scene unfolds, I thought was was great. And again, Angela Bassett just amazing mm. in this. Um, I I will say, like as I mentioned this earlier, I like the look of Namor, and I like the look of his people. They when they're in the water, they're their skin color is regular mm-hmm. and they come out of the water and then they're blue. Yes. And presumably he's not like that because he's a mutant, so he can do both. Something to do with oxygenation of the blood, I Maybe. assume, that's going on there. Mm-hmm. I know there was comparisons between that and like Avatar, but I don't think so. Oh, I didn't even really. think of that. No. I, think it's, I think it's fine. Uh-huh. But I think... Also, so a lot of the Kree are blue as well, so... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But there's a moment where we get a character doing a tour of Namor's underwater city uh-huh. and like the the majesty of it and look at all these different communities and whatever. And I'm like, this sucks. <laughs> sure, this yeah. is dreary and it's uh-huh. dark and foggy. Yeah. And like I'm just comparing. What do you like, eat? Plankton? Yeah, it looks terrible. And and like you're just all you're all hunched in a cave. Yeah. Like and Aquaman. Seems cold. Yeah, Aquaman is not a perfect movie, but no. just the over the top, and I'm not saying do that design. Yeah, right. But the over the top nature and there's like a like octopus, octopus playing, playing drums. the drums and giant arenas and whatever, and I just I didn't get any of that from this. Well, no, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, they obviously needed a point of difference, and they've gone what, with kind to make of it <laughs> dreary, and dreary sad. and sad. Yes, yeah. and, and kind of you know, it, it has, it's more sort of Aztec Mayan inspired as opposed to yeah, and that I like that design element, mm-hmm. but I didn't see any of that when they were like swimming around, like waving at everybody. Right. Sure. Sure. I didn't get that at yeah, all. Yeah, A lot of it, until they get to, there's a, there's a point where we get to kind of like what I guess is sort of a, the palace or, you know, yeah. what, but prior to that, it just, a lot of it just looks like salvaged junk. Yeah, exactly. 
And th- I think maybe that also speaks to, because Namor introduces himself fairly early on and he's like, I've got like, I've got this infinite army that mm. I could, you know, that I could bring down on you if I wanted to. And I just, maybe that's just not true. I didn't get the sense that he mm. has that at all. Was he lying? Oh, great question. Don't know. Yeah. Don't know either. Um, I, I love his arrogance though. That oh was, yeah, yeah. That's, that's some classic Namor stuff, Mason. Mm-hmm, yeah, that's yeah. good stuff. Yeah, again, mm-hmm. really good. I, I was also a bit confused in terms of like how powerful these, and who cares about power levels and whatever, but there's a really good fight near the start where Okoye has a spear and she fights a bunch of them on a bridge Yeah, uh-huh. and she like kills like six of them mm-hmm. and then they all like get up afterwards. Yes. But I don't know why that happened because it doesn't happen again. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Is that, are they special? Or maybe, maybe. Did the, she miss? Maybe she missed all their vital organs. I yeah. don't think she did. Okay. Maybe their vital organs are in different spots. Maybe no, she they, learned later. I mean, they're just people really mostly, aren't they? Yeah, they're fish people, aren't they? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Got some, but do you know what I mean by I that? Know, yeah, I do know what you mean, yeah. Because then later they're just, you know, there's you get big battles later. Yeah, but maybe that maybe the Wakanda's upgraded after that. I mean they did. Yeah, maybe yeah, and maybe they were and maybe they were like the elite fighting force that are maybe. special and magic. They and can move their organs around in their bodies. Maybe they can. I, I yeah. don't know. I don't know anything about that. Uh who else do we get in this? We get uh it was nice to see Lupita Nyongo again. She's great. Man. Nakia, yeah. It's huh. great when she turned up because she's not in it at the start. No, and she's not yeah. in you don't see her in any of you don't see her in anything post Black Panther. She's not in any of the event, like she's not in no. Infinity War or anything like that. What's she up to? School teaching? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah. We also don't see Daniel Kaluuya's character because he's he, been he's in jail. He's been outsourced. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. Yep. No, he's been what are they exiled? He's just but he just lives outside the village, being like, oh man, I shouldn't have tried to take over Wakanda at the yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. And he's, uh, but anyway, uh, great to see Lupita Nyong'o. But you could bring, you know what else was interesting about going through all of these different characters and seeing like Mbaku and whatever uh-huh. and Okoye and like any of them, I'd be like. Any of these people could be Black Panther. Yes. They were all like compelling enough and good enough actors Uh that they they could do it. Yeah, Mm. Uh, And we got, of course, uh, the debut of Dominique Thorne as Riri Williams. Yeah, what did you think about that? Because I saw some people who were like, it's too shoehorned in. I didn't didn't mind it, but I wouldn't say I wasn't like, wow, I love this design and and all of that. It kind of looked like a Funko Pop suit. (laughs) Right. (laughs) And... uh, yeah. Uh, I enjoyed the character, I think. Yeah. Um, big, like, Tom Holland, early Spider-Man vibes. Yes. Of, like, being dragged into this larger world and being, like... Yeah, I and, thought that was yeah. fun. There's an initial meeting where mm. where um, a couple of the Wakandans go to visit her at a university and they're like, hey, hey, what are you, what are you doing? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop what you're doing. Uh, yeah. And, um, like, I like the gun, on the, the gun on the arm of the... Yeah. The suit and all of that. You know what I thought was interesting? I feel like there were a couple of sort of what should have been like really huge establishing shots of thir- certain things, but they were just sort of obscured in darkness. Which like when you first particular? see when you first see Namor, I think he's just sort of like Oh yeah. Just sort of in a pond? Yeah, in a pond. It's <laughs> sort of a you know, and then and Do you think that was an element of mystery? Or maybe. Being like, what's all this about? But also when we see Ironheart, like the first Ironheart prototype suit, it's yeah, just Yeah, you don't of, see much of it, you? Do don't you? see much of it, yeah. Yeah, no, you're right in that, yeah. Mm. I'm like, they, 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 it felt like those should have been moments where we're like, whoa. Yeah. You know? No, that's fair enough. Yeah. I don't disagree. It's a killing right. machine. She's built a killing machine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what is good about this as well? The soundtrack. Really, really good. Uh, just, just good stuff all around. That's right. Yeah. Good beats, Mason. Good mm. guitar riffs that's towards right. the end. I'm like, ooh. Bullet with butterfly wings. <laughs> House of the Rising Sun. Um, other things that were in Suicide California Squad. Love, when they Calif- go to California. California Dreaming. <laughs> Californication. Yeah. You know, all the greats. I mentioned uh, there's the bridge fight, mm-hmm. which I, which was just a Koya, which I really liked. Mm-hmm. There's a moment where Wakanda, there's an, there's an invasion, uh-huh. and just seeing Wakanda, like, get slowly flooded, I mm. thought was really great imagery. Yeah, yeah. You know, you just see like it trickling and it's like it's building up in the streets and people start to notice and then there's a panic and there's there's the bomb, the water bombs and not like a water bomb like that you'd throw <laughs> within a garden, Mason. Oh, sure, sure, not sure. Not just a balloon with some water mm-hmm, in it, but yes. more like a grenade of, of water. Whoa. I thought that was really good and I thought also the end battle of this was visually way stronger than what they did in the first movie. Yes, which because it was people with different powers. Yeah, and that was also like the last movie was was rushed as well. Like they they had like a couple of weeks to do that last fight, you know, in the underground oh, yeah, train right. in the suits. Uh-huh. And yeah, yeah. they also did away with the nano suit, which most for the most part, mm. which I think is good. They also didn't do much of those, I've absorbed your powers and I'll punch you with your powers. That's true. Like the suit has it because you see that purple ripple. Yes. Mm-hmm. Can we spoil who's Black Panther in this? Let's, I guess let's, I'm in gonna, the, look, I'm going to, let's, 
Uh, do we have much more to say non-spoilery? I don't really. I think I think we've basically covered yeah. it. Uh, yeah, look, to, to me, this, this, the strength of this movie was the cast was great. Yep. Uh, and, and I think, yeah, I, I just very much enjoyed the, the... And having to step up and, like, yeah, and try yeah. and fill this hole that you just cannot fill. Yeah. But, yeah. again, I think if you are expecting very lighthearted fun... No. If you've come off She-Hulk to this, you might, there might be a sort of tonal whiplash. Yeah, but uh, you got you got to factor that in. There will there is there's some sort of heavy topics uh, discussed in this. But uh, yeah, I think uh, good. good I'm card. glad they didn't bring him back uh, as a CGI character or something. Like mm. they don't do any of that, which yeah. I think was a really nice decision. Yeah, and showed great restraint. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, good, good. I'm gonna say best movie ever. Yeah, I think. Look, I don't want to watch it again. Okay. Because it's kind of grim and it goes for way too long. You're saying pacing. Pacing-wise, yeah. Let's let's go to spoilers now. Yeah. We're in spoilers right now. But what? I do – yeah, I'd say best movie ever, but it's, it's – What would you cut out? Would you cut anything out? Again, the thing with the – Everett Ross. Everett Ross. Uh-huh. It's like that, that probably that tour of Underwater City – Maybe get rid of that. Maybe okay, you can right. just imagine what it is. Oh, yeah, okay, You know, sure. just be like, yeah, no, it's amazing. Yeah, right, it's, just, right. it's just behind this door, but uh-huh. we can't open it because it's all water. Would I mean, you cut out the Ironheart stuff? Maybe I think not, you... maybe not, because uh, you, you could. I think you could, yeah. But I also think I get why they didn't because she's going to be out of series. <laughs> so... That's true, yes. You've got to introduce her somehow. Exactly, yeah. yeah, but no, you could yeah, remove yeah, yeah. that, yes. I yeah. think you definitely could. Also, I liked how they were like, Okay, we built you this Ironheart suit. You obviously can't take it back with you to to America. Yeah. So just in case, we need to redesign it for uh, for the new series, which we will. Yeah, we're which we definitely because we've got to sell more Funko Pops yeah, as right. we as we previously mentioned. But we're uh, in spoilers, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Surprise cameo, I thought. Um, uh, Lake Bell at the start. As, oh yeah. As, uh, I thought she was going to be in it more. Me too, but then they killed her. Did they, they killed her in that helicopter? Oh, did she actually die, or I did it so. just crash? I mean, it crashed in the ocean. Yeah, but and it's she, the ocean. They, the ocean. Then, she'd probably just swim back to the boat. Do a little paddle, do a dog I mean, paddle. She's got, she's got uh, all those swimming skills from the TV series Surface that she was on. I remember that show. Mm-hmm. I don't. Okay. Um, yeah, but she's also the. We've talked about this. The voice of Black Widow in the What If That's series. Right, yeah. So yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I think she'll be back. Oh, you reckon? We didn't see her like get decapitated or anything. Maybe she'll get Atlantis powers. Maybe she will get big Atlantis powers, Mason. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Another surprise. Like no, not really. I wasn't really that surprised. Okay, go ahead. But uh, Killmonger is in this. Uh, oh yes. When uh-huh. she retakes, she, she's the Black Panther. Mm-hmm. Takes the for a time, she takes the the purple herb and whatever that she three D prints using technology and magic or whatever. Uh-huh. And you go into a you go into the. Afterlife. I think some of that could have been. Like, I don't know. The, don't the, do three D printing. No, I don't. I just thought some <laughs> of the, make a quicker three D printer. Maybe I think some of the science was a little just hand wavy, but uh, I mean, just moving it, some it, DNA. It, and, yeah, moving some DNA. Well, that's what they do. I didn't move. I didn't move the DNA enough. Tony Stark did time travel with a hologram in like thirty seconds. Do you remember? In Endgame. Oh, yeah, that's true. He's just like flip-flop dip. Look at me. He did flip-flop dip, didn't he? (laughs) That's true. When I saw... uh, You know what I didn't... While I remember this, I felt some of the dialogue was kind of clunky. Okay. Like there's a moment where uh, Shuri and the Queen are on the beach and they meet Namor for the first time. Yeah. They're like, he's got wings on his ankles. I didn't remember. I didn't remember that at all. Can you see seeing this? You see the wings on his ankles? Was that to point it out so we, the audience, Yeah, could agree? but I'm like, I feel like we, w- we would have got that from context. Yeah, yeah. I'm not leaving the cinema because I'm unsure of what's on his ankles yeah. or where his wings are located or why he can oh, fly. You were close, I reckon. I was thinking about it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Speaking of the wings on the ankles, where he gets one of them cut off towards the end. Yes. That fight on the, the shore at the end between uh-huh. him and Shuri, yes. I thought that was great. That was great. Like yeah. really brutal and just... And mostly, I think, from memory, it, it, there was, like, no music. I mean, she does get impaled. She and does. not like a movie impaled where, like, it's through the s- shoulder, you'll be fine. It's, like, right through her. Yeah. And she's she's got the nano suit. And it she's got the nano suit up. and then she had the herbs. She had the herbs. That's true, exactly. And she's, she moved that DNA. She moved the DNA around, yeah. But I know. She I, could probably move her guts around. Like, she probably learned it from Atlantis. She probably One yeah, of those little was, kids was, like, probably, like, hey, <laughs> see how we move our like guts this. around. Yeah. Like this. Like this. <laughs> what do you think? It's cool. It is cool. But I'll, just getting quickly back to Killmonger, I bet they regret killing him off because I feel like of, like of the people who have been in this movie, who's like these movies, who's a big movie star. Oh yeah, like yeah. he he. You could rehabilitate that character. That's and, true. And yeah. put him in the middle of it. I mean, and, they still could potentially. Yeah. And and it's interesting because I guess well, here's the thing though. If in, Shuri doesn't believe there's an afterlife, no. in, at least initially, 
So did she actually go to and, the... Well, maybe there isn't, too. You know, maybe yeah. it's all hallucinations. Maybe and... it is. And be, but I guess if if we go, if we take it as given that the, the afterlife is real... Yeah. ...based on, you know, or, or at least the Wakandan afterlife is real in that way, that means he's definitively dead. Yeah. But at the end of the first one, you could, I, I think you could have gone... Oh, he he was he was dead for a minute, but then we used yeah we used a technology yeah we used a big technology we used a big it. technology but also we it, hit him with all the DNA balls and he came back to but life. But I guess at this point, if you bring him back, then it's like why can't you bring back T'Challa? Exactly, yeah. and you you obviously can't do that. Well, they can do it in a different way, which we'll get to. Yes, um, I thought this actually could have used more Mbaku. I thought uh-huh. he's Winston Duke is always great. Uh, and I think you see his character kind of mellow out and because he did become friends with T'Challa, mm-hmm. yeah. like you see that he's kind of in this, like he's he's not like vying for power. Yes. It seems he just wants to do what's best for the kingdom and, and all of that. And I thought it was a very interesting move at the end that he's probably the king now, it seems. Hmm. He's King Ralphed it. He's King Ralphed it, yeah. He's just the one guy left and they're like, all right. Well, I'll do it. Because, yeah. of course, the queen dies in this, yes. uh, which, which surprised me actually. But I thought... I mean, I'd love to see him in, in a, like a big Black Panther yes. suit. Yes, just just really. Good. It was very. What's interesting, I think, is it, it in the initial Wakanda Forever trailers, it was quite ambiguous as who was in the Black Panther suit. Mm. Like when you, you you see the character land, yeah, and and in retrospect, I'm like. There's no any. There's no way anybody but Letitia Wright could have <laughs> fit in that suit. Like yeah. when you see her, yeah. on screen, it's like, yeah, it's very very slight, very slight. Yeah, absolutely. But I, I, but I would, yeah, I'd love to see him in a big Black Panther suit. That'd be great. Yeah, that's it, great stuff. Well, he's kind of, he, I mean, he's got the gorilla motif, so maybe they'll give him the. Well, because she has like some of the dots on her forehead are similar to some of the some of the face paint she had in like the previous movie. Yes, I don't that's think right. that's how some people like mm. figured it out. It's my understanding. Oh, so, yeah. I see. Right, right. So okay. yeah, you could add some elements of you know yeah. of his region or whatever to his suit. I thought th- this also, this movie had that thing of like you see Shuri like kill a bunch of. Like she pinwheels across the side of that that ship, that Black Panther ship or whatever, uh-huh, killing yeah. a, a bunch of those underwater people. Mm-hmm. And then you see Okoye like kills her nemesis, the guy that she fought on the bridge in her new yes. Iron Man Predator uh-huh. suit. Yes. Which I didn't love. Yeah, I didn't love it either. Yeah. Weird extraneous bits. Yeah. Just... It's weird when the mask comes off. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it's just like the front bit and the, mm. the whatever. Give her a Black Panther suit. Give her a Black Panther suit. She said, I'm, I'm pretty sure she's had the Black Panther suit in the comics. Probably, yeah. yeah. But, but I mean, maybe this is a direct comic book reference. I don't know yeah. enough about the series, I, I think, to recognize. But it did look, I don't know. It looked like that Predator suit from the end of The Predator. It did, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, Okoye gets to kill her nemesis guy from the bridge. Uh-huh. And, but then at the end, Shuri's like, oh, I won't kill this guy because of. But it, I, I feel like that doesn't gel with like. Everybody else, including her, who's just murdered a bunch of people right, prior. Okay, sure, yeah, like, yeah. And we've seen this in lots of movies where yes. it's like, well, I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to learn from this or whatever. Yeah, it's right, just right. Felt a bit What about of... all those other guys that were just here to feed their families? <laughs> they were just here for a paycheck. You killed them. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Batman. Batman. Mm. So, what? yeah, but um, what do you think about that truce that sort of happened when Namor's like, well, when they come for us, then we're going to have a I liked it. I like how sneaky and namor it was. I think he just got lucky. Yeah, no, for sure. He's just <laughs> and he was just trying to save yeah, face. Yeah. No, actually, this was always part of the plan. I'm, yeah. I'm so many steps ahead. I'm, I'm jokering it. Yeah, this is really great. But I thought again, like to speak to that final battle of they didn't just have the same powers. He's as strong as the Hulk potentially, Maybe and I know he was underpowered at that point because he was like he was. <laughs> they all, toasted him. It was all dried. <laughs> they put him in a big microwave. That's right. It was all dried out, but he was still like. It was mu- it was still very dangerous mm. in comparison to her. Yeah. Uh, but one of the things that I thought was uh, interesting, I guess, for the future is yes. we find out that T'Challa had a son. Yes. Called T'Challa. Correct. Yes. Who is the the heir to the throne? Yes. And so it looks like they're just going to not recast mm-hmm. Black Panther, but just bring in maybe ten. Ten years at least from yeah, right. now, uh-huh. uh, may, maybe more, maybe or less right. with time age travel. Age him up with magic age him up somehow. And whatever. Yeah. They could say he goes into the spirit realm and then yeah. he comes back five minutes later and he's like, "I'm thirty now, <laughs> and I'm the and I'm Black Panther. Watch out!" Yeah, yeah. That's but I think the smart thing would be to wait at least ten years. Yes, because I think that's what they're doing. They're setting mm. they're, they're setting this up. They're future proofing this. Yeah. For down the line. James, let me ask you this question. Yeah. When Kevin Feige leaves yeah. and the new guy, whatever new guy comes in. You. And, yeah, when it's me. Yeah. And I look at what has come before and I go, huh, Kevin Feige used all the good stories. 
what what do I do? Do I just? We've got this, don't you? That's true. I guess you've got new Black Panther. Yeah. No. Do I? Is the is the next and an eighty year old Robert Downey Jr. Is the next is the next creative head of Marvel going to keep on moving and hope that like are they going to draw from like newer stories? Yeah. Or are they just going to reboot like they do with uh, like you know your X Men franchise? Are they just oh. going to go? Let's do the Infinity Saga again, but slightly different. Yeah, mate. I think because it is something people remember. I think there's a chance where they're like the Infinity Stones are back. Right. And the glove is it's even glovier. Last time it was a solid glove. This time it's a gl- like it's a loose glove, like the comics. Oh yeah, great, <laughs> you know? terrific, yeah. Just a weird leather glove mm-hmm. with stones on. It. Yeah, I this think time it- Christian Glover has them all, <laughs> and he's weird. You don't know what he's gonna do. I don't like him. He's, he's, I think weird. He's, I think he's nice, but I don't know. He's yeah, got a no, weird I don't, face. I don't actually know him. Yeah. Uh, I, well, that's that's actual dialogue. You, thank you for writing some of that dialogue. Yeah, I don't actually know him. That's know a great him. question. I mean, but you do have a nearly infinite amount of stories to but draw on. That's the thing. On. I, but I mean, so did the and X- they haven't done. So did the X Men. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And they haven't. And they did Dark Phoenix twice. Yes, but they and potentially they, three times. Yeah, maybe. And they haven't done like any X Men stuff in the MCU. That's true. And they haven't done any Fantastic Four stuff mm. in the MCU. Yeah. And so that alone, that's ten years of storytelling. That's true. Just there, but it also feels like Kevin Feige is going to do that. Yeah. Uh huh. Before. Yeah. Well, I'm not even saying like. Do you, do you jump over to the Ultimate Universe or something? Well, that's maybe what to I'm the Ultimate thinking. Universe. But yeah, because I, I feel like. I don't think they would extend the I, – I don't think they would go in the same continuity, okay, the Infinity Stones are back. I think they would just mm. – like it would be a full recast and then just a, yeah. a, a reset and go, okay, we're doing the origin of Iron Man again. Yeah. You know? He's back. He's back. Or he's a child. Remember who was a child yeah. that time? Yeah, 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 that's and right. And they aged him up through a portal? Yes. Mm. I remember. Good ideas there. <laughs> that's right. That maybe Marvel should be taking note of. That's right. Because the current Tony Stark is still – the kid Tony Stark, is that right? Who got aged? No, you, they didn't. The original Tony Stark turn evil, and then they brought. Kid okay, James. What, James, what happened? Okay, James, okay. What so did happen in the comic books? The original Tony Stark went evil because Kang went back in time and like made him evil. Yeah, and so the only similar thing happened to Captain America. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. So what they did? So what happened is I think the Avengers or Force Works or somebody went back in time and they forgot a teenage Tony Stark before he went evil, and they brought him into the present day. Yeah, and then they defeated. Uh, evil Tony Stark, but then young Tony Stark got an like got the exact same heart injury that, that yes. old Tony Stark got necessitating on, on, on purpose. Yeah, on purpose. <laughs> he did it as a prank. Yeah, uh, and then then he was young Tony Stark until what was called the Heroes Reborn event. Do you mm. remember that? They, yeah, they li- they basically Marvel basically licensed out a bunch of like their badly selling titles and they got them they got like a bunch of image creators to do new books so they did a new iron man they did a new avengers they did a new fantastic four mm. and then he was an adult they they he went into a pocket dimension yeah uh, all these characters went into a pocket dimension and then he was an adult again mm. and then when he came back out of that he was just an adult again yes and when he ba- went back to the main marvel universe he was just an adult that's again. what i mean so the original tony stark now is not the the Tony Stark now is not the original Tony Stark. He's this kid who got aged up. No, in the he kind of is. No, no. You can see what they did is they just went because they went. Ah, oh, the the pocket dimension was a result, a result of Franklin Richards, who's this reality bending kid. He's, he's the you know, I the, know who the, he is. the Fantastic Four's kid. All four of them. And um and they were just like I think they were just they were just like yeah it's Tony Stark he's back don't worry about it yeah so he has all the memories of original Tony Stark okay so. There you go. Yeah. It's like the Rimmer conundrum in Red Dwarf. The Ace Rimmer conundrum. Well, because the original Rimmer left. That's true. And then he was replaced by uh, by original, original human River who was, Rimmer who was yeah. brought back from the dead. Because of the cloning. Because the, Yeah. But then he died when Red Dwarf, the ship, collapsed in on itself. Yes. And then in the next season, Hologram Rimmer is back. Yes. Who's presumed to be the Rimmer who left who became Ace Rimmer. Yes. But there is no explanation for any of it. Correct. Yeah. yeah. And that... It's comic books also. And in that's a our Red Dwarf episode. We've done it again. <laughs> We've done it again. We've done so many Red Dwarf episodes. I agree. Um, yeah, what what else? What okay, here's what I would do in the okay. future. If yes. they hadn't if they hadn't done it, I would throw fifty million dollars at Chris Evans uh-huh. and I would I would make him the core villain and I would do Captain Hydra. Nice. That's what I would do. Nice. Yeah. And people are like, Yeah, Captain America's back and he's like, I'm bad though. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> But I'm not as strong as a Hulk now, yeah. probably. And then he, but then he turns. Being evil makes you stronger, <laughs> maybe. But he turns good, you know. Yeah, nice. at the end, terrific. Back like in the comic, but right. you know, take a take a hero that was beloved and mm. you know, flip it. I think that yeah. would be. That's right. Yeah, that, Do we have any? What what else? What else? Spoilery happened in Black Panther. I mean, the, him having a son that is that is unprecedented. I don't believe he has a son in, no, in the comic book. No, and certainly not a son with the same name. No, that's right. <laughs> I kind of I feel 
I don't know how I feel about this because it does feel like a recast. Yeah, uh-huh. Which I don't really have a problem with. I'm, yeah. You know, they didn't go in that direction, which is also probably, it's probably a good idea. Yes. Yeah. It's very soon. It just happened. Uh-huh. But they've they've just made the same character. Yeah. Like Hon- potentially the same Honestly, character again. Now that I've now that I brought it up in a in a somewhat joking manner, yeah. it would not shock me at all. Especially if this comes out of the hands of Ryan Coogler. Mm. Like from what I can tell, like this this was a lot of work. Like this I wanted to this talk about this that. guy. I wanted to because there's speculation and we've even even talked about it like maybe he's going to do Secret Wars. I mean, ha- would you yeah, right. This would have been exhausting. Like yeah. living with this movie and yeah. making this movie yeah, yeah. just crushing. Yeah. But it, what I feel like is if he doesn't do the next one and they go, we need a black pan. Like that, I think it wouldn't shock me if they were like, okay, adult recast this T'Challa. Yeah. And then he just goes off into the spirit realm and then he comes back and they, they go – decades passed in the spirit realm and he comes back and he's like, now I'm going to be Black Panther. And we yeah. go, okay, I guess. Yeah, I, I think it's too soon for that. They shouldn't yeah. do that. But, but it would, I wouldn't put it past them. Right, yes. To do it. I think there's so many other characters you could do. Mm-hmm. Like I want to see a uh, Mbaku-led Black Panther movie. Yes. You know, because I f- feel like for this it's Shuri as well and this also might reflect real life because she's had some views concerning vaccines, which also means that maybe they don't want to give her this franchise Sure, you yeah. Know, I think that's that's possible. Mm. But I think it also felt like her character didn't really want to be Black Panther. Right. Like yeah. she did it because mm. it had to be done and they yeah. needed a Black Panther at this point in time. Uh-huh. But then I got the sense by the end she was just like, well, I did it and I don't want to be in mm. charge. I don't want yeah. to. I, I did the thing I had to do. You know we could give it to? Bran Stark. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> he the can most, do it. The most interesting man in all he's of so Westeros. He's so interesting. He's got all the stories. <laughs> <laughs> He's basically an Encarta CD, basically. Yeah, he that's right. sucks. That's right, but he's got that Weezer video. <laughs> In him, you know? In him, yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with any of this. There's so many options, though, and luckily yeah. there's so many good people in this that's movie true, that, yeah. you could, that you could do spin-offs and shows and sequels yeah. and all of that and fold them into Secret Wars and, yeah. and whatever. But uh, honestly, like the next thing that I would want to see yes. is – what does Mbaku look like as King and Black Panther? <laughs> yeah, 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 what does yeah. that look like? What else has Winston Duke been in? Uh, he was in, um, what is it, the 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 one with uh, Jordan Peele and there's, everyone's got a clone under the earth. Oh, us. Well, yeah. so was Lupita Nyong'o, so yeah. Exactly, right. yeah. But what else else is what I'm saying. Oh, that's a great question. And I love him in an interview as well. Mm. I hope he doesn't get cancelled, Mason. <laughs> okay, great. Because I've come out and said that I yeah. like him. I hate it when that happens. Oh, pretty much. I mean, not not a ton, I guess. Spencer Confidential. Did you watch that? I watched some of that. I watched. I watched Mark Wahlberg beat up Post Malone. <laughs> like, I don't need to see any more of this. Oh yeah, he's he was Bruce Wayne in Batman Unburied. We didn't oh, have yeah, that of as course. well. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Love that. Okay. Yeah, and he's going to be in the remake of the Fall Guy. What was the original for the Fall Guy? It was uh, Lee Majors, the um, the six million dollar man. Oh, it's about a stunt man. Okay. Oh yeah, no idea. Ryan Gosling, Emily Blunt. Yep. Great stuff, Mason. There you go. Cool. That is cool. I agree it is cool. It's very cool. Anyways, if uh, you've probably seen this if you if you wanted to already. It was also in was... Nine Days. I'm presuming a movie, not the, the band Nine Days. The the um Wasn't there the – no, I'm thinking of The Ninth Day. The Arnold Schwarzenegger cloned the movie? Sixth the Day. Sixth Day, yeah. I'm thinking of a different number. I'm thinking of a different number. That's true. <laughs> and, yeah. Anyways, you know, we've got some uh, reviews here, Mason, of people have written in, including C Ray says, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod, just finished Wakanda Forever. Water bombs are awesome. Namor and Atuma were the highlights. Best movie ever. Best pod ever. Oh, yeah. Still. This all, so, so Akoye's nemesis is Atuma. Yeah. And it's not Atuma. Yes. Yes. Um uh and and we also get Namora, who is, yeah. is uh Namor's cousin, who is kind of, you know, she's she's a important character in the in the Marvel sure. comic books, but just like Hey, I'm here too. I'm here too. <laughs> yeah, cool man. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I kinda remember when this yeah, I think maybe at she the had a end, nice headdress, I think. At the end I realized I'm like, oh yeah, I think is that right? <laughs> well, cause in the comic book she's also blonde. She's yeah. like she's yeah. So I, I don't know. Sounds to me, Mason, like they really made a mistake because I didn't recognize it instantly. That's right. This is from Lord who says, hashtag... You should have had a T-shirt. I agree. Namora on it. This is from Lord. In that college font, <laughs> so you know. 
This is from Lord Norway. Hashtag Weekly oh, Planet Pod. Okay. It says, uh, saw Wakanda Forever. Love the story, costumes, and sto- score. Good job of what was always going to be a daft villain. Bit stalled with uh, magic swipey tech. Yep. That's, you'd agree with that, I assume. Mm. Uh, rant. Because there's tech and yes. it's a hologram, but it looks like you can physically grab an orb. You can grab an orb. Because you you, Tony Stark's just... Just, just waving around a blue That's hologram. True, yeah. These guys are next level. Uh, random armies, new characters being given five minute intros when Marvel generates so much screen time. Best movie ever. It's from T Bell who says, saw Black Panther and thought it was fine, slightly longer than needed, but a fitting tribute to Chadwick. Namor is cool, but feel his home world was a bit dull. Thought it was missing something and felt like side characters going on an adventure. It's from Emperor Bailey who says, of all the possible new Panthers, Shuri, Mbaku, Nakia, Okoye, Ramonda, the person I wanted least got it. Uh-huh. Unsure they have the chops to carry the franchise. Uh, best movie ever though, intense emotional climax and weird fish man with anchor wings. Maybe better than the first? Um, it's very different. They are, it's true. Yeah. Thinking about the tech. Yeah. What didn't you like about Iron the Ironheart suit? Something for me. Yeah, smooth. It looked like a, it yeah. reminded me like of a, you yeah. said Funko Pop, but yeah, yeah like just, a Power Rangers suit. There was no, like, it, you know how, like, they smooth out the Spider-Man suit? Yes. It was like that for an Iron mm. Man situation. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I liked the look of it. It didn't feel real, it I d- think. It didn't yeah. feel real, but also I felt like it didn't feel like it had any distinct weaponry or anything like that yeah. to it. Whereas, you know, the Iron Man suits, you 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 know... You could go, okay, well he's got the you know, he's got those shoulder dart launches and he's yeah. got the repulses. I mean he also whatever. like levels up his suit. No, that's true, yeah. Goes, but, but I I felt this was like oh from a from a you know, a weapon basis, it just felt like sort of generic. Yeah. Which maybe I I I thought the look was good, but I think it should have and you're right, it didn't feel it didn't feel very tactile. No. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, anyway you know. What do I know? That's right. <laughs> but I I suspect what'll happen in in the series is we'll get some sort of amalgam. Yeah, you know we'll get we'll get something more tactile. Maybe that's the plan. Maybe it's like, well, this one looks super space age. Yeah, but in this it'll look more grounded in the new one. Whatever, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. This is from Harley Faux Show, who says, "Went to watch Wakanda Forever. Don't know how I feel about it. However, the trailer for new Gerard Butler movie Plane Has Fallen showed the entire Excuse film me? In, a, in a two minute segment. So I di- so I don't need to see that now. Hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. Yeah, he's got a new movie called Plane. Oh, I did see that. Yeah, I haven't okay, seen right. the trailer. For I haven't it seen yet. the trailer, but I did see the poster. Incredible stuff. Cool. Um, at the start of uh, prior to uh, Black Panther, the two trailers in front of it were Creed three and Quantum Mania. Oh yeah. And so, like two two Jonathan Major movies in a row. I'm like, he's he's going to have he's a good a year. Major time, wouldn't you say, Mason? Yes. Yes, he would. Everybody. Nice. But then I would be like, like, because his name's Jonathan Majors. Is that what you would say? That's what I'd say. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. You didn't make that connection, but I did. I still haven't made it. I don't know what you're talking about. Mason, let's move on before I get lost in the source. Okay. All right. Do you know what the time is for? Do you know what 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 would you do now? <laughs> James, <Yeah. stop. laughs> he's flailing. <laughs> oh no, James, hold it together. We just have to do our famous segment. What we read and yep. what we gonna read. It's, now this is actually the perfect opportunity for that. Nice. I'm doing the thing. Mason, this is a segment of the show where we look at each other and we tell the truth about what we've been reading and watching and listening to. And doing and various other things. That's right. That's right. Yeah. What do you got for me this week? You want the truth? Yeah. Wow. I I don't know if I can give you the truth. Well, then, just just make up something. I'll make up something. We need to pad for time. (laughs) I'll I'll make up some stuff. Thank God. I actually watched because uh, I was like, oh, Lupita Nyong'o's in in, uh, Black Panther. What a a great actor. I watched uh, The 355, which is a movie that came out this year and completely sank... And nobody likes it. But it's a, it's a, it's a female-led like espionage drama. Oh it's yeah, it's got Jessica Chastain, Sebastian Stan's in it. I remember this. Yeah, yeah. but it, I, I, it, I remember seeing a billboard for it in Melbourne. Her name's but I, Mace Brown, Mason yeah, yeah. Brown, yeah, yeah. Jessica Chastain. Um, but it, I think it, Mel, Victoria, I think was either going into a lockdown or just coming out of a lockdown. Or I think maybe, maybe it. I don't know. But it was January of this year. Apparently. Yeah, right. Yeah. So I don't know when. I don't know. January's like a. Not a good time. Either. Yeah, I don't know what, but uh, it it did it, it did not do well uh, commercially God, this, or critically. Look at this cast, though. Yeah, I thought it was fun. Yeah, I, yeah, it was. Um, yeah, I I think it was. Look, it is it is soup. Jason Fleming's in it. Simon Kinberg directed it. Simon Kinberg directed it. Um, Holy shit! The thing about it is, it is maybe one of the most generic premises possible. 
there's a device and you can hack into anything with I it. I can? And everybody wants the thing you can hack into everything with. Oh. Can you imagine it? Have you seen a Fast and Furious movie? I've never seen it. The premise is the same. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I think I think it is absolutely Do you think carried. if it was a Fast and Furious movie, people would just be like, yep, fine. Yeah, I think so. Or would so. they be like, this is a good one? Oh. Um, Actually, this is a good one. That's a great point. Mm. Uh, I, don't, I thought it was less dumb than a Fast and Furious movie. It's not hard. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're absolutely right. <laughs> Uh, I, th- I, just that, I meant that as an insult, by the way. Some I know. Pe- you know. You might be like, well, they're supposed to be dumb and that's what I love mm. about them. No, they're bad now, those movies. <laughs> they're not right. good anymore. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was fun. I thought it was just a good, uh, a good, a good ri- action Goof. ride and it looked great and, uh, yeah, you just have to get past the idea that uh, they're like, oh, this thing. I've built this thing that can hack into anything. Look okay. Out. Look right. out. Well, Freaking look out. I'm going right. to check that out. Hmm. Probably never. Yeah, great. Is Le, Lupita Nyong'o in it much? Not a ton. Oh, okay. Well, the rest well, of the cast is yeah. good. Uh-huh. Actually, that's probably not true. She's probably got it like as much screen time as like you know most characters in an Ocean's Eleven or what have you. You know, sure. Pretty pretty equal. Anyway. Four minutes. Four minutes exactly. Great that's stuff, right. Mason. Yeah. Well, do you know what I've been doing? What have you been doing? I've got the new God of War game, God of War Ragnarok, oh, yeah. which picks up directly after the last God of War game. And at the start, it's like, do you want to recap? And I'm like, no. And then it starts and I'm like, oh, shit, I don't remember any of this. Right. What the fuck happened? What have, why have I got movie? a man's head on my, on my belt? There's different gems and stuff going on. They're yeah. like, do you remember the thing that did the whatever? And I'm like, I don't remember that at why all. Why is my axe so cold? This <laughs> <laughs> axe is so cold. It's I don't too like cold. It. And I'm like, I've forgotten all the, literally every combo in the game. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. The shoulder buttons of the attack and whatever. Well, anyway, it's really good, though. It's really yeah. good. It uh, didn't take me long to Well, I, I came over here the other day and you were playing it and uh, – you were on an environmental puzzle. Yeah. I was super jazzed for it and then I saw this and I'm like, oh, environmental puzzles, I forgot. There's, they do environmental I puzzles. I haven't hit that, uh, hit that much of it yet, but uh, there's, you know, you, there's a, some very early boss kind of fights which are quite uh-huh. cinematic and interesting and one of the main villains in this is Thor, uh, mm. it, or, or unless he dies early or whatever, I don't know, how these God of War things go. And Odin is mm. played by... What is his name? But it's just not somebody you'd expect. Oh. Um, let me think. He's from the West Wing. Oh, uh, so he's just like he's not like a big Odin-looking dude. He is right. This guy, Richard Schiff, plays Odin. <laughs> Richard Schiff's in Black Panther. Is he? Yeah, he's in the he's in the UN. Oh, okay, yeah. great. <laughs> anyway, so when I saw that, yeah, I, I was, was going like, to say huh. I was going to say Richard Schiff as a joke. <laughs> Oh, like, is it Odin? Is it Richard Schiff? Is it? Yes, the it guy is. from the West Wing. It is. I completely forgot he was in that. I was only looking at the French, the French in that room, Mason. Well, yeah, the, the focus was on the goddamn French, wasn't yeah. it? And anyways, this had nothing but glowing reviews. Um, I have it on a PlayStation Four because I don't have a PlayStation Five. Though there apparently is a deal: you get a PlayStation and mm-hmm. Five and a controller and a God of War for nine hundred dollars at EB or whatever. <laughs> okay, right. And I'm like, nah, no, because again, they release more than one game. Yeah, because the thing that again, like, and I I felt the same when I bought my PS4 for Spider Man, where yeah. it's like, oh, it's a five hundred dollar game, is it? Okay, yeah. <laughs> if I'm because if I, you know, if you if you if you don't have a bunch of stuff lined up, it's like, well, I'm playing I'm playing in this case nine hundred dollars for this one game. Am I? Great, That's better right. be pretty good. Pretty good stuff, Mason. Well, well I'm I. Uh, was going to get God of War yep. again on the PS4 because no one on earth has a PS5 yet. Yep. Isn't that wild? It's yeah, been I think years. it's turning around now. Yeah. But also, like, I don't care because there's nothing on it that I want. Yeah, nothing and also. Exclusive yet. That'll change next yeah. year. And also, I think I'm incapable of seeing the difference between resolutions at this point. <laughs> oh, look, I'm sure there, there is obviously a, a difference, but also. Yeah. I don't care that much. No, true. Like a slight graphical downgrade, I don't care. I'm just checking what Jedi Survivor is on because I want to know if that's on player PS5, I'll probably have to yeah, get right. one. Uh, but I was going to watch – I was going to get God of War, but then I'm like, I have to watch multiple episodes of Andor. Fuck, I might have to. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to watch a bunch of episodes of Andor so we can do a recap video. That's right. Uh, and God of War will destroy all my time it's doing true. those environmental puzzles that I love. Yeah. How am I going to get that water wheel to turn? Probably water. Probably use a big water and yep. use a f- axe, the frozen axe. <laughs> yep. Terrific stuff. Great stuff, Mason. Uh, also, uh, and you've probably seen it, uh, Jenny Nicholson has a new video about it. I haven't it. seen it, no. It's, out. it's, it's like a, three hours It's long. four hours long. So I haven't watched it's it It's a four yet. hours it's I a will four hour long video. It. She is, uh, among other things, a, a um, theme park enthusiast. Theme park aficionado, yeah, and uh, and it's about a, a sort of a, a new bold experiment in, in, yeah. in theme, park-ery. Theme, park, theme parkery yeah. and how it, it – uh, Never really lived up to yeah. the expectations. It's sort of fascinating. It's, I always find these sort of videos interesting. She also did, I think maybe we've mentioned, 
She did a video on the TV series The Vampire Diaries. Another one I haven't watched because yeah. it's like two and a half hours. Yeah, it's yeah, in yeah. my list, but, but I can break it up, right? Yeah, I don't yeah. have to sit and watch it. No, you can Because I just don't have yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, they're always broken up into numbers. Like, I, I watch so. movies, so That's I guess true, I, yeah. yeah. But I think they're fascinating because it is a whole different level of like fandom that we're not absolutely familiar yeah. with. And I love the idea, like if you again, if you broke down the Marvel Cinematic Universe in the same way as you broke down the Vampire Diaries, mm. it would sound insane if yeah. you never. And it's the same thing. Whereas, like when you're in it, yeah, you go, oh, that makes perfect sense. And then when you look at it from an outsider's perspective, you're like, oh, that character's died four times yeah. and no, over, over, over a span of years and nobody's found that weird at all. Isn't, yeah. that, isn't that odd, you know? Absolutely. And that's the way things go, Mason. That's right. I saw, like, somebody was saying, like, she only releases, like, a couple of videos a year. But if it's four hours long, mm-hmm. if you broke that up into, like, 10, 20-minute chunks, that's a lot of videos That a is year, a lot of videos, you yeah. know? So mm-hmm. I think that's absolutely fine. You've got to redefine your own biases about videos. I won't do that. I'm not going to do that, Mason. Okay, My great. biases are correct. Do you have a letter segment se- thing to Do play? Do I have a letter segment thing to play? But for this podcast. I'll get one, hang on. Boom! Now here's one. All right. The classic one was, Letters, oh letters, we love you. Some letters, they're only a day away. I'm going to hear right now, we're going to do letters. Mason. It's the fart at the end that gets me. I agree. Is it true that this is actually um, the letter segment and on the letter segment we have to, if people want to send a letter, they <laughs> hashtag Weekly Planet Pod on Twitter mm-hmm. or they Weekly Planet Pod, if Twitter's still working, and or <laughs> Weekly Planet Pod at gmail.com. Uh, if, if I've been watching, speaking of what we read, and this week it's just been Twitter and Twitter love melting it. down. Incredible. You know what I love about this as well, probably the most? Also that thing you said is true. What thing? The thing about you got it. You can send us a letter. Yes, that thing is true. That is true. I wouldn't lie to you, and you wouldn't lie to me. Correct. About those things. We're locked. So it's accurate. We're like Dumbledore and Grindelwald. We're locked into some kind of weird <laughs> hex, yeah, where we can't right. lie to each other. That's right. Which might have been the point of that movie. Um, I just like being right about. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm not always you? right. I'm often wrong. But you just to be heels like, in I've been being... telling people, and I guess more people in my life that like he's a fucking idiot. I don't know who you're talking about. James. <laughs> And, and just to see this unfold in real time and watch his fucking idiot brain just like James, tick over. When you, say, when you say this thing unfolding in real time, do you mean a man playing six-dimensional chess? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. I mean, maybe he's doing it on purpose. Maybe he bought a $44 billion platform maybe on he wants, purpose to Maybe because he it. wants some of his investors to kill him. Maybe that's why he's doing this because he's such a genius. And the fact that like... It's like shares are tanking in like horrible companies because of fake verified tweets and all of that. Mm-hmm. Like that presumably would have repercussions for a man who's never experienced any repercussions yeah, in his man. entire life. He's doing it for the lulls. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Yeah. But uh, what were you saying earlier this week to, to me that was like he just wants to be like funny in a good poster? He wants to be a funny guy on Twitter, but he'll but never be a funny not. guy on Twitter. And yeah. I'm not a funny guy on Twitter. Mm. It's okay. You're atrocious on I'm Twitter. I'm atrocious. But you're not trying to I'm be good. Like, Are you trying to be good? No, never. Okay, good. Because <laughs> if you were trying, and you could tell me if you were trying, but if you were trying, that would be atrocious. I would tell you because we can't lie to That's each other. That's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, yeah, he just he, he won't be that guy. I mean, let that sink in. Come on. And not only that, but, yeah. like, the build-up to that. you got to tell somebody... That you got, you got to go get a sink. Yeah. Or go somebody a, suggested that to you. Go and down you to were, Home Depot and, and you get agreed, me a sink. And then you walk in with it and you say, let that sink in, which also doesn't make sense. <laughs> like, it doesn't make sense. Like, as like a visual gag, like, yeah, sink. I, I, you're holding a sink and let something sink yeah. in. Like, it's, what's the joke? And then you put down the sink and one of your fucking minions has to go and get rid of it, yeah. like dump it in an alley. Okay, but imagine you're, <laughs> imagine you're that guy, though. That's your whole day. Oh, I don't care. I'll take that job. Yeah. Fuck yeah, I don't give a shit. Yeah. Just the whims of a moron. <laughs> <laughs> but just the idea that, like, like, he's very clearly bought into everything he's ever done. He's never invented anything, which is fine. Like, you're a marketing guy. That mm. is clearly your skill. You've tricked people into... <laughs> like a bunch of people th- to thinking you're a genius. And just watching that unravel mm. is just a lot of fun. And he'll get out of it because yeah. he's rich. Like there won't be any actual repercussions, but it is fun to watch Twitter like just fall apart, mm. which also I'm totally okay with. There'll be another platform at some point, you yeah, that's know? That's right. Anyway, did you have any it's thoughts big on sandwich. it? bigsandwich.co <laughs> right. for nine US dollars per month. I know that's more, <laughs> I know that's an extra dollar. 
I know that's more than a tasty at Verify, but you get bonus podcast, uh, movie commentaries, early videos, ad free feed. And again, like the idea of getting people to pay eight dollars a month, which most like to make that profitable, there's not enough people to like who will sign up to make that. So the, the the value of this company is in its users and advertisers, and you've thrown that away, and you're trying to hit people up for money, but that money is not going to cover your losses. Like you should know that. I know that. Why the fuck don't you know that? Crazy, right? Cra- it's crazy. It's because it's because you didn't have a plan. Yeah, like walking. You could have walked in and done nothing and just said, "We're doing more content moderation in terms of because we want more free speech," and just left everything else the way it was. And you would have been a fucking hero to idiots, but you still would have been a hero, right? Yeah. Not fire half of the people. God damn. Uh, just crazy. It's because people have only seen his successes in public and not the bu- yes. all the other stuff that, that sank without a trace yeah. over the years. Like the tunnel. Like the tunnel, <laughs> yeah. Well, the tunnel apparently was just a way to delay California from having like high-speed high speed rail. rail. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, right. yeah. Anyway, that's the letters segment. <laughs> that's our letters. <laughs> Uh, what was it? There was a thing that you were going to say. I can't remember that I was that you mentioned this week. No, yeah, that's right. Because I was, I thought about you know people getting verified and pretending to be or whatever. And my plan was to be verified and just do one tweet pretending to be you, Great. but just something inane. Yeah, like nothing, like not controversial. Sure. But then I'm like, ah, <laughs> too much effort. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. And, you, and then you get permanently banned. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Yeah. Uh, His he, comedy's back, you know. Comedy he was, is he back. He was right about that. I mean, we're, James, we're laughing already. I tell, <laughs> tell you, tell you, tell you that, James. I tell you, tell you what. Yeah. Uh, here's an email mm. from Sal. All right. Yeah, that's right. Hi, I love the show. I had a quick story question for letters. During my travels, I discovered Vegemite, which I found quite exotic. Oh. I brought some <laughs> okay. home. I've never heard it described like no. that, but all right. <laughs> Maybe he means toxic. I brought some home and gave it to my wife so she could try it. She's from Colombia. I chuckled as she spread an enormous amount of it on her bread and clearly her first reaction was not positive. Disgust and confusion in her face through the first bites, but she kept eating and slowly the expression changed. She now cannot fathom starting the day without it and become has become a Vegemite-eating monster. Anyways, my question is, is there a movie you disliked the first time around but changed your mind on and ended up really liking upon repeat viewings? I've talked about this before, but Moulin Rouge. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Uh didn't like that at all. Mm. Thought it was bizarre and horrible. The Vegemite of movies. The Vegemite, but now yeah. I, I, lo- I love that movie. Some uh, people uh, call uh, them uh, Marmite movies. Oh. Or you can say anything. You can say something's a Marmite car or a Marmite video game or what have you. Sure, like okay. Some people love it and some people hate it. Do you have an example of a Marmite car or video game? Um, did you not like your car when you first got it? No, I love my car. Because it was covered in Marmite. Oh, yeah, that was a fun prank you did. <laughs> it was, wasn't Appreciate it? that. There was actually, it was Vegemite on the inside, Marmite on the outside. Oh, that's great. I don't know if you noticed. I noticed, yeah. Yeah, I've got a keen sense of smell. <laughs> not anymore. It just no, it's been destroyed by the, all the Marmite up my nostrils. Um, that's a great question. I, I've, I've grown to love the Matrix sequels. Not love. That's true, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like they have hidden depths, even I think. the newest one. No, but I should. I should. <laughs> but maybe, it. maybe down it's, the line, it's on everything now. So I should yeah. probably. I don't it. rule out anything that I'm not going to come around on it anymore. Yeah, uh, I, yeah. yeah. I feel like the yeah, and again, you're allowed to do it. Like you know, you don't have to take no, a hardline stance on a movie and go. This it's fine. It's you know, it's uh yeah. As I said, there was like a period of time. Uh, it was probably like 2015 to 2018 with like young kids. Mm-hmm. And I'm now I've adjusted more where like I'd see movies and I just feel like I had no idea what was happening. Like I was just so fried. Right. So like I don't know. I don't trust any of my opinions from that time mm-hmm. except for The Last Jedi, which is still a good movie. There mostly, you go. In my opinion. That's good stuff. Ah, uh, oh God, let me think. Dunno, man. Dunno. Yeah. Moulin Rouge is my answer. I don't go back to video games if I'm like, I hate that. I, right. don't, I don't go back. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I, see, I feel there. like video games, there is no. You either kind of kind of. For me, like push through the first time, yeah, or just, or I just. It's don't. also the feel for video games. Even yeah. if the setting is great or the story is great, if you go, yeah. this is painful to play. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't come back. You don't have to come back. That's right. Although you know, we get, we are getting a lot of remakes and things. You know, the Resident Evil games are getting a remake. Yeah, they're doing that. fours coming out soon again. Mm. Yeah, I, uh, I saw there was a post in the Great Mates group. Oh yes, bro- broadcasting Great Mates. It's, it's a closed off group, but you can join up, Mason. That's right. Don't be a don't be a dick. And. Uh, <laughs> Apparently I said in like 2014 that Ghostbusters 2 is a good movie and I would have said that off the back of like that was the one I saw as a kid and I hadn't oh, seen sure, it sure, until sure, right. recently uh-huh. and now I hate everything Ghostbusters. So 
is that an answer to does that answer anything? Yeah, I don't great. think two is a good movie. In fact, I think it's a very average, if not bad movie. Seems to me like they got you though. <laughs> they did, oh, that's true. They did yeah. get me. You were a hypocrite and they got you. Yeah, when I saw that, I'm like, yeah, that sounds like something I would have said. <laughs> yeah. What else, Mason? I've got one here. Go from ahead. Indy who says, with the passing of the iconic voice of Batman, Kevin Conroy, would you two consider doing a Batman the Animated Series deep dive? The, the man definitely deserves his legacy to be discussed by the best podcast on the internet, Rip. Rip Batman. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we'd probably do it as like his work as Batman. Maybe not like just the animated series. Yeah, right, right, right. Um, yeah. But no, I'd definitely be open to that. Um, don't know. If people want to email in their favorite episodes of Batman the Animated Series. because well, I don't think Yeah, I need a copy I, of it. Just email me the, the I, whole file. The whole, the, yeah. yeah the, I want to yeah, say it. Yeah. The dot mov. Yes. <laughs> or dot exe, whatever. whatever. Just, <laughs> just email some attachments. DLC will play. We'll click, we'll click anything. Don't yeah, worry yeah. about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you got, Mason? Here's an email, James. What is it? I don't know if you prepared for this. I might be. Okay, great. Uh, this is Ronan. Yep. Hey, James and Mason. I love the pod. I love hanging out with all the great mates on Facebook. But seeing the spoiler thread for Wakanda Forever has left me feeling a bit glum. Oh. I live in Shanghai and have been in and out of lockdowns for the past three years with Ooh. a brutal four-month stretch locked in my apartment around March this year. God damn. Oh, yeah, I forgot other places in the world are still doing lockdowns. Yeah, yeah. yeah I played Elden Ring so much I've become one of those guys who downloads mods to the game and do stupid challenge runs. <laughs> As a huge Marvel fan, it's rough not being able to go to the cinema and see the latest MCU film while tiptoeing around spoilers on the internet till it comes to streaming. It didn't help that with Eternals and others, China decided to not release these films here anyways for non-COVID reasons. Yeah. As such, I haven't been able to see a Marvel film at the cinema since Far From Home. Wow. That feels... No way that feels... Yeah. My question home. for you is, what is a film you regret not seeing in the cinema, either for reasons beyond your control or a film that just passed you by? Great question. Mm, excluding older films that you would not have been alive to see at the time. Oh, man. Yeah, right. Can I be the official tarnished of the pod? That is an Elden Ring reference, James. Uh, From Ronan. Yes, yes, you Dune. Are. Oh, yeah. Did we see Dune in the cinemas? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. I saw it at home. I don't even know. I think I think we saw it at home. Did I? At our, at our home? No, because it, it released later here. It came oh, out yeah. like December or something. Which is it. wild because I have memories of seeing that at the cinema. It felt big. It felt like a big experience. I do have a very large television though. <laughs> I have a standard size television. Really? I think so. I don't That's know. even more interesting. It came out in October. <laughs> that is very interesting. It came, I'm pretty sure in Australia it came out in December. From Yeah, December. It came out in December 2nd. Okay. So, yeah, that one I was like, well, we have to talk about it for one. Mm. And also like we have to. It's if you're not gonna it will let, be against the law to not talk about If you're not going to let it. me see it, I'm mm. going to VPN that shit. You know it. <laughs> yeah, so Dune. And, but, I mean, Dune, and I still, I feel like often, you know, you, if you watch a movie at home, you're on your laptop and whatever. Sorry, this is me, mm-hmm. obviously. And But for that, I was just fully like locked into it. And That's I, probably I really why, same, it. and that's probably yeah. why I feel like. I should I do did, that for everything, yeah. but I don't. Mm, There's that, definitely levels of things that yeah. I'm like, I don't care that much about this. That's old. probably why I felt like it was what I watched in the cinema because yeah. I actually removed all the distractions mm. and I poured popcorn all over my floor <laughs> <laughs> and I stickied up my couch yeah. with soft drink. This was after the movie, Mason, the next week. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Do you know why you did that? I just love, love, love a bit of chaos. Ooh, that's yeah. great, Mason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So that's my example. I don't right. have another example though. Wow. Yeah. I don't even have a single example. Mm. I could say Dune, I guess. Yeah. Maybe Barbarian? Oh, it could yeah. Have been. I mean, I still enjoyed it, so it wasn't like I was like. I can't even. I I also forget what I saw. Yeah, anyway. I see almost nothing horror-wise in the cinema. Yeah. I don't know why that is, but I, so I don't even really know. Well, a lot of the horror recently has been going to streaming as Directly well. Directly to streaming, Or we yeah. don't watch it when it comes out. Yeah. We'll talk about it like down the line. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. I I, I don't like. The Black Phone I didn't see in cinema. Yeah, so the, really the, like the, um. The experience of going to like a, a superhero movie, you know, I'm we're very familiar with that, but yeah. I don't even know what crowds react like in a horror movie in the cinema. No, that's maybe they go ah, maybe they go ah, oh, no. maybe they go tee hee hee ha ha ha, oh ho ho ho, hello hey. governor, hello, I say Mason. Uh, this is from Caitlin who oh, says yes. hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. Hi, Mrs. Under Movies and at Wikipedia Brown. So since it's now official, the Xmas season, I guess, my Twitter has been flooded with Disney Plus ads for the new Tim Allen Santa Claus thing. Uh-huh. Do you think you'll go back to this fascinating universe for Caravan of Garbage? And there was a picture of um, the video game. There was a Santa Claus 3 video game, Game Boy Advance game. Oh, sure. Right. Okay. Um, if we were to, I, I would, we would play the game and I'd tack it onto the end of, like, 
mashing those three videos together for mm. a compilation, yeah, right, which right, I was right, thinking right. of doing and just releasing on Christmas is just a thing to release on Christmas. But we'll also be doing a Christmas commentary, which we'll release on the on the YouTube channel as well, which we do every year. Uh, but no, I'm probably not going to watch that new series. I don't give a fuck about it. There's too much stuff yeah. now. And I just don't. I Those massive diminishing returns on those movies and – I mean, the the elf that I like is back, so there's that. Yes, but how true. much is he in it? How much is Crumholtz in it? I mean, maybe we find out yeah. and then we, we report back. Exactly. Yeah. What else you got, Mason? That's the whole podcast, I think. Charles. I've got one here from Mika, though, he says. Ooh. I think DC's new strategy to combat the AI cut and other fan petition is to get James Gunn to comment on it so the petitioners think they're being listened to. <laughs> we talked about this before, yeah. But DC just want them to quiet down uh, and aren't doing what the petitions want. Might be true, just to be like, we acknowledge you and we mm. see you. That's what I thought you were going with earlier. We yeah. see you, we hear you. Well, that's often... We continue to see and hear you. This is the thing you do with kids, and I'm not just talking about, like, my kids. I'm, you do this in teaching. Mm. And it, you can do it with people. People just want to... This isn't a bad thing. This isn't a trick. It people, seems, seems like no, it's not. leading towards People just want to be listened no, to. that's true, yes. And if you just pay attention and mm. actually listen, often that's what people... They, mm. they want to be that's heard. True. Yeah. Um, which... Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, don't follow up with, just to be clear, I'm not going to do anything about what you've said. What, <laughs> no, I'm don't say it. that. I'm listening. But yeah, but an, an acknowledgement of feelings and all of mm. that go, go, goes a long way. Yeah. You can use that. That's a trick you can nice. use in your real life it's a real, to manipulate people that's a, around That's you. a life-manipulating <laughs> life hack. I think that's wonderful. Absolutely. Oh, just a quick one here from, it's either, we've talked about how this person before, it's either Touched Elf or Touche Delf. Okay. It's up to you. Mm. Um, hashtag Wicked Planet Touché Pod. Del. <laughs> I think, which is a red dwarf creature? Or is it Gelf? That's a Gelf. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. That's our red dwarf episode yeah. as well, by the way. And Delf is like a Dilf. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I've made that up. <laughs> I like to think of myself as the queen of inane questions. How's the weather in Melbourne? Here in Southern California, we've barely just gotten out of the awful heat and into lovely fall temps. Hope all is well from Amanda. Uh, it's kind of all over the place at That's, the moment. I mean, it's classic Melbourne weather, but it is way all over the place. It's it's near. It's kind of chaotic. Yeah, it's like I mean, the Joker. It's of nearly weather. it's nearly summer, uh, but it's uh, it's quite warm today. Yep. But it's going to be ten degrees colder and and raining like in a couple of days. Is so, it? Yep. It's going to be fourteen. It's going to be fourteen in a couple of days. But I've been wearing shorts. Well, too bad. It's going to be twelve on Tuesday. Tuesday. Yep. That's tomorrow. No, it's not. I mean, it went from when this goes out. It's tomorrow. Yes. Thanks. Great. All right, Mason, wrap us up. Unless you've got another oh, i got one more thing. This is from Daniel. Daniel? Book Club. Oh. Hey, James and little James. Hello. And Mason's twin brother. Hi. His name is also Mason. <laughs> I better not have heard little James. <laughs> uh, I was wondering, since Marvel is clearly heading towards World War Hulk, mm-hmm. might we get an episode of Book Club featuring Hulk? I really enjoyed yeah. Immortal Hulk in particular. Yeah, we should do that. Yeah, yeah. I need to catch up on Immortal Hulk as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, with Toho announcing another installment of Godzilla next year, in addition to the Godzilla. Yeah, there's round, another one. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, there's going to be a, a, a new Japanese Godzilla. Uh, it would be great to take a look at the Godzilla films and or comics. I've heard tell there is a lesser known Marvel crossover comic and the old rubber suit movies are an old favourite of mine. Cheers. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, they, they, did, they did cross over. You watched a day. bunch of those, didn't you? Yeah, or, I watched. Or um, some of the older, or not the older ones, but the other mainline Godzilla Ones or oh, something? I watched Shin Godzilla the other yeah, day, which is the one? most recent. Yeah, okay. It's the, it's Maybe the gross I'm thinking one. of that. It's the, it's the guy who did um, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Okay. It's cool. It's cool? Yeah, you should check it What's out. What's gross about it? He's just a gross, like, ever mutating Godzilla. He's just, just freaky looking. He's a slippery fella? He's a slippery fella, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. It's great. Cool. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that is the whole show, I think. Folks, thank you so much for listening. <gasps> we very much appreciate it. You're the reason we're still here in this windowless room. You're the voice. Just try and understand it. That's right. Make a noise and make it real. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not going to sit in silence. We're not going to live in fear. Not in the podcast. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's right. Bagpipes. But thank you for listening. It's a song. It's an Australian song. Don't worry about it. Not everybody. No, nobody does. Nobody outside of Australia. No. Anyway, uh, thanks for listening. Um, we appreciate it. Uh, thanks for telling your friends about it because that is how you get new listeners because there, there, there ain't no YouTube algorithm that helps people find a podcasting. But another way you can help us is you can leave a five-star review. James, you got any five-star reviews there? Got a couple here and you're not going to believe it. These people have just done it in-app and in doing so, I'm now reading their reviews out on the show, which in the way, in a way is, is even better than winning the Australian Podcasting Award. 
awards, which incredible. we will win this year and then not turn up for. That's right. Uh, five stars. This is from Coach Pinot. Pinot? Pinot. P-I-N-O-T. Pinot. Pinot. That's the mm. word. It's like a wine, isn't it? Yes. Uh, this is not a wine, though. This is, it says, oh, what no. we want. We want more Blade Runner babies. There you go. Like, it's not, I'm not allowed because that one was, was vetoed, I think. <laughs> was it? Yeah, you vetoed that one. Did you do a one bit of news yes. this week? I feel like you did. I feel do a one did. bit of news. Yeah, I did. So you were panicking before the show because you didn't have a one <laughs> bit of news. But I feel like you uh, are. Yeah. You pull one out. This is from Brendan who says, hilarious and fun five stars. These two have amazing chemistry and banter. I look forward to a new episode every week and listen to it as soon as it is released. Thank you so much. Thank you. Don't mind for Folks, if you want to get into contact with us, you can go to weeklyplanetpod at Gmail, at Facebook, at Twitter, at Bandcamp. You can go to the Planet Broadcasting Great Mates Facebook group. You can go to no, the it. Weekly Planet Pod at subreddit and Discord. Yeah. Uh, if you want to follow some important people, some very important podcast <gasps> people, some VIPs. Yeah. Uh, you can follow our friend Rob Collings. He's at Raw Collings on Twitter. He's at The Weekly Planet on Twitter. He keeps this whole show a moving, including editing this podcast. That's absolutely true. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Wikipedia Brown and on Instagram, Nick Maso, and on uh, other platforms. Yeah, other platforms, whatever. Like uh, Spotify. Like right. Spotify, We're the best pod- platform in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can also follow James at Mr. Sunday. Hey, should we take a Spotify everywhere? deal if we get the option? Yeah, for a million dollars. A million's not enough. Two million dollars? No, nah, not enough. Wow. Three, for how many years is get that? Get a lot of this guy, I don't know. No, I just mean like because we pay people as well. That's and true. Like, it's on multiple platforms. Yeah, yeah. And like people listen to it on multiple platforms, including YouTube. hundred you know? million dollars? A hundred percent. A hundred million, yeah. Okay, and then great. I'd quit. No, I wouldn't because what okay. do I do? What would I do? What I would know. I do? Nothing. I don't know, James. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, James has missed the Sunday movies everywhere. If you want to support the show, you can offer us a $100 million deal on Spotify. Like if, you, if you're listening on Spotify yeah. or really any platform but you, you are a big deal maker at Spotify, you could just give us $100 million. Yeah, you we'll don't have it. to make us sign a contract. We, we don't. Even, we, us... we won't even. If you are, I'm going to write bum on my contract. Wow. And then I'll take the money. Wow. I'm going to re- write respect on mine. <laughs> so and then we'll, shows together, how different we are. Together we respect bum. That's right. Um, uh, if you want to, you can go to patreon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies. You can chuck in a buck or an amount you wouldn't miss. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and that uh, helps us keep the lights on here. But if you're a big time, big what spender, you can go to bigsandwich.co, sign up for nine US dollars per month. Yes, that is a dollar more than blue check verification. That's right. But, but, it, mean, you... but it means something. That's true. There's a huge back catalog. That's right. And you don't get people making fun of you for signing up for Twitter. It's the money. That is very true. Yeah. Uh, uh, but you get all sorts of bonus podcasts, movie commentaries, early videos, ad free feed for the podcast. It's a great time over there. There are so many bonus episodes of everything. Mm, and uh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty great. It's pretty uh, great yeah. If you want a t shirt, you can go to uh, tpublic.com. I agree. Search for the Weekly Planet. There's some t shirts on there. They're yeah, pretty great. Yeah. yeah. And uh, thank you to the Brute and the Basilisk and Rackham for all our musical themes next week. We don't know. We don't know yet. The Some. Guardians Christmas thing is coming up. I Ooh. don't think it's this week, though. Ooh. Something will come out. Ooh. Something will happen. All right. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Grab that gem, you guys. We will see you next week. Goodbye. I'm going to eat another donut. You sure you don't want a donut? Mason, I can't. I'm getting abs for next summer. <laughs> Not this yes. summer. Summer bodies are built in the previous, previous summer. summer. Yeah, okay, right. All right. Well, if anybody wants a donut, email them let me know. <laughs> You bought it better before I finish the donuts. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You eat every one of those donuts Not today. Yeah, but you will. Not today, but you will. I might have another one tomorrow. Okay, cool. That's great. Okay, bye.